more than your time machine will close automatically. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. And please watch your children. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving platform. The platform is moving at the same speed as your time machine vehicle. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving platform. The platforms in your time machine vehicle are moving at equal speed. The sliding doors on your time machine will close automatically. For your safety, the sliding doors on your time machine will close automatically. For your safety, remain seated with your hands on your feet and legs inside the vehicle. And please watch your children. The sliding doors on your time machine will close automatically. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. And please wash your children. Your time machine will slowly rotate back and may stop momentarily. For your safety, remain seated at all times. During your slow moving journey, your time machine may slowly control. Welcome aboard. On the map in front of you, please show us where you're from. The 
great events in the future. First, they establish public schools, and then begin teaching an intriguing new subject called mathematics. And with math, it comes the handful technology and the birth of a high-tech life you enjoy today. In the lessons learned from the Greeks, the Romans created a power plant. To join their army somehow, they built a city of roads all over the world. Rome built the first worldwide city of
travels have been momentarily delayed. Please remain seated. Your time machine vehicle will begin moving again at any moment. Please remain seated. We will resume our journey shortly. Thank you. Seated, time traveler. Attention, travelers. Please remain seated. Your time machine is rotating backward for your return to Earth. In preparation for your return. momentarily delayed. Please remain seated. Your time machine vehicle will begin moving again at any moment. Please remain seated. We'll resume our journey shortly. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, our time travels have been momentarily delayed. Please remain seated. Your time machine vehicle will begin moving again at any moment. Please remain seated. We'll resume our journey shortly. Thank you. Our time travels have been momentarily delayed. Please remain seated. Your time machine vehicle will begin moving again at any moment. Please remain seated. We'll resume our journey shortly. Thank you. Attention on Spaceship Earth, we are experiencing a momentary delay. Please remain seated and thank you for your patience. So resuming now.
Here in your future, getting away on vacation is a breeze. Your smart suitcase knows where you're going and what you'll need. And with little help from your home fueling station, you're in Don't worry about the house. PDA with remote control can take care of anything you forgot. Well, hey everybody, it's Josh with Resort TV One and I'm live for Wandering Wednesday here at Epcot. And actually, we're gonna go to the Epcot Resorts, but I was just finishing dinner over here at uh, Connections Cafe, or Concoctions as some people call it. And um, just thought, you know what? I think it would be fun to ride Spaceship Earth. So that's what we did. So we start the stream with Spaceship Earth, and now we're gonna go wander. And that doesn't mean we won't come back to Epcot, but we're gonna wander the resorts first and all kinds of fun things so if you are new to this channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button right below the video we just hit 183,000 subscribers on Monday I believe it was so that was pretty cool but yeah so hit the subscribe button follow us on social media also here on YouTube make sure you hit the notification bell sometimes I go live early like today so I saw some people like oh he's early so yeah if you have that notification bell on you'll know when I go early so I thought well I had some extra time Extra time in the parks is not a bad thing at all, so I wanted to go early. But yes, have your notifications on so you don't miss the early starts. So definitely um, just turn the notification bell to all notifications. Personalized, it's weird. It doesn't. It actually doesn't work that well. So turn it to all. And uh, yeah, and also hit the like. Subscribe if you're new, all the things. All right, and follow us on Facebook, um, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Hi, Amy. Hi, Noel. Yeah, Jenna did a uh, Universal stream earlier, so if you missed that, go ahead and check that out. I know, uh, you know, of course, um, we always know that Universal streams, they don't do as well as the Disney ones, but um, especially during the day and stuff, but Jenna did an amazing job. I'm sure I didn't get to watch much of it because I was pretty busy today, so definitely if you missed it, go back and watch it. Am I riding the Skyliner? I don't know. We'll see. Haven't decided. This is wandering. I don't really have a plan. Uh, other than I want to ride, I want to ride the boats for sure. We did ride the Skyliner on Friday, but that doesn't mean we can't ride it today. We'll see. Oh yes, it was a super chat from Danger Mouse Dean. Thank you, Imara. 
Ginger Mastine, five pounds. Hi, everyone. Hi, Josh Resort TV One. Hello, how's it going? Welcome in. So thank you so much, uh, Danger Mouse Dean. I'm glad that you are here. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so. Hey Disney Fanatic, hey Chris. It would be so nice to hop into a park and ride some rides after a stressful day at work. Sure is. It's been a dream of mine for years, or had been a dream of mine for years, and then it, it came true. Very, very proud. Oh, hey, there's Phantasmic Ears. Haven't seen you for a couple months in here. Good to see you, Brandon. Yeah, we haven't talked for a couple months, so I hope you're doing all right. Good to see you. Heading down this weekend for a short trip. Well, maybe we'll see you there. Um, I will not be in the parks. Let's see, I'm trying to think. I will not be in the parks um, Friday or Saturday because I'm going to be with my friend uh, who's in town for the weekend as well, but I will be in the parks on Sunday. So if you're in the parks on Sunday, maybe we'll see you there. That'd be awesome. No trying to ride the fireworks. Yes, I will try not to. Oh, Jenna did great. I'm so glad. Hey, Scuba Steve, how are you? Life has been insane. Haven't had time for anything. No worries. I totally understand. Well, it's good to see you. Appreciate it. Hey, Robert. So yeah, I'll, I'll be, um, so because my friend is going to be here on, on Friday and Saturday, he's actually staying with us. Um, haven't seen, like used to work with him every day. Have not seen him since, um, like July basically. Um, so anyway, which is weird since I used to see him every day, but, um, we're going to hang out. We're going to go to HHN on Saturday. And uh, so I won't be streaming Saturday. So I'm going to, since I have Monday off, we have our fall break. So I'm actually off Friday and I'm off on Monday as well. So the plan for me is to, um, is to stream on Sunday night because I'll be off Monday so I can stay out late Sunday night. So I know I don't usually stream on Sunday. Jen and I swap days this week just so my friend and I could have some time together. Um, and uh, whatever. So yeah, so that's, Sunday. Hello. That's Sunday's plan. So yeah, it's going to be weird. Like I said, it's been a while since I streamed on Sunday. So it's going to be interesting being able to do Sunday night. I always enjoy Sunday nights, but I have to work on Monday, so I don't usually do them. Hey, Cape Cod Sarah. All right. Everything should be back to the normal schedule next week, though. I should be, my, my work and everything is calmed down. So I should be back on uh, Tuesday, Tranquil Tuesdays next week. And then uh, Saturday. So it should be back to Tuesday and Saturday, our regular schedule. But this week we had to slip it up and change it up. So yeah. All right. Are you going to the Riviera? Not today, probably. There we go. Hey, Andrew, how are you? It's kind of an overcast day, but it makes it nice and nice and cool. Ooh, monorail shop. Hey, Sean Rogers. Yes, Jenna's doing Friday. It's the classic monorail shot. That's right, Leslie. How are you doing, especially Leslie? Good to see you. Oh, and Leslie, I know you had asked about being a mop or two at one point. If you're still interested, let me know. Just send me an email. I was adding a few people here and there. Since we're doing more streams, it makes it easier for people to stay in and out. So, and I know a lot of people sent me requests. I'm just trying to um, get people that, that have been watching for a while and stuff like that. So yeah, either way, uh, if not, that's fine. And, and a lot of people, it's sometimes good, you know, not to be a mopper sometimes because you don't have to watch the chat as closely. So a lot of people just like to watch the stream, but I don't want to be, I don't want to have everybody a mopper, but I do want enough that, you know, when we go live several times, the same people are not, the same people are not uh, having to do it all the time. So yeah. Uh, all right. The best streamer. So happy to see you live. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Hey, Mark. Mark Davis. I know you probably already know this, but Mark Davis is a very, a very uh, well-known Imagineer. <laughs> John Stamos will be one of the narrators. That's cool. He usually is, but I'm glad that he's coming back. Always good to see him. Always love seeing Neil Patrick Harris as well. Hey, Dad. 
How's it going? I'll be interested. Yeah, so we're, um, like I said, we're looking for people that have been around and in the chat quite a bit is what we're looking for. But yeah, I think uh, we'll be okay for now, but maybe it, maybe uh, maybe soon. Hey, Rye Guy. And again, we're not trying to add like tons of people. I'm just trying to add people that I know have been around for a while. So, all right. All right. Hey, Amy. Hey, JRNJ. Hey, Annette. Oh, we got a PayPal. Very, very generous. Brandon Fraser, that's pretty cool. Uh, la, 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 la. PayPal here real quick. Hey, Rye Guy, how are you? All right. Uh, Sherry from Sherry D. $25 on PayPal. Very generous. Thank you for your fun and informative channel. Sherry, thank you so much. That's very, very kind and very helpful. Appreciate it very, very much. Hello. All right, let's go check out the thing here. Yeah, we got a nice lineup this weekend. Jenna, I think, is going to have a vlog on Saturday. And then I'll be live on Sunday. So we're switching up because of my schedule this week. Joy Hamilton was talking about the Pixel 8. I just saw some reviews on it, uh, saying it was really good. A lot of what I've seen about it is that it's good. It's got really, really good software, which like helps with uh, the um, picture quality and stuff. So it sounds like it sounds like a very solid phone. The only reason I may not that I might not be as interested in it for streaming is because uh, with streaming, all that software support wouldn't work because you got to have it in real time. But it would be cool to try it. I kind of wish I knew somebody that I could go try it around the parks and see if it's better than the Samsung. You know, it's like you hate to, I wish there was like a phone rental. There probably is, but it'd be cool to like rent some of these phones for like a, a week or something. You know, I'd pay 25 bucks to rent a phone for a week just to like, or, you know, whatever, even 50 just to like see if they're good or not. Hey, Amy loves Disney. No worries. And Brandy and Dave are here. Rye guys here. Welcome, 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 welcome. All right. Mandy's here. Awesome band. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Well, I can't remember what their name is. Oh, we have barges in the lagoon. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. That's kind of what they're building here. So, so yeah. So they've got they've got some stuff in there. Luckily, it's not super tall. So, but that's kind of some of the platforms they're building for um, for fireworks and for the for the new show, Luminous. And lots of news lately coming out. Uh, lots of news. Today, um, they just announced, was it today, that they're going to be at, we're going to be at, was it today or yesterday? I think it was today. That we're going to be able to park hop. So that's cool. Like park hop like before, um, we're going to be able to park hop before two. So that's kind of cool. So I can't wait to be able to park hop before two. You can park hop anytime starting on January 9th. That's cool. Obviously, there were also some price increases, which nobody really likes, but it's part of the reality of it. Apparently, according to Brick, California got the price increase thing a lot worse than we did. Um, I think, you know, Disney's done the math and they figured out people will pay a certain price and they, they don't mind, uh, possibly cutting down on the number of people in the parks. So I don't know either way. I think that they, their, the prices are going to go up. Unfortunately, I'm not thrilled about it, but yeah, that is what it is. So, Hey Nancy. Yep. 
best shift manager. Yep, great minds think alike. We we're just talking about that. Yes. Hi. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I watch you guys all the time. How oh, awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Kara. Awesome. I'm jo well, I'm Josh, but you know that yes. already. Yes. <laughs> you too. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh, happy birthday, Katie. Hi, Lisa. Uh, parking's supposedly going up five dollars, I guess. What? So I don't know. Another Thursday. <laughs> yeah. So that's the way it goes. Not super surprising, but that's never fun. Hi from Ron in Massachusetts. Going to the Christmas party in November. Nice. All right. Hey, Stacy. Stacy's in the house. Appreciate all you guys. Oh, it does sound like Christmas music, but it's actually Green Sleeves, which is uh, an English folk song. So, uh, Green Sleeves is the basis for What Child Is This, which is the Christmas song version. But Green Sleeves is actually an English folk song, which doesn't have anything to do with Christmas. So, it's kind of one of those things. It does, but I think everybody associates it with Christmas because that's when you hear it. But it is part of the regular music here. So, yep. I understand the confusion for sure. Hi, how are you? Good. Yeah, you too. What are you? Awesome. What are your names? I'm Mickey and Donald. Nice to meet you. You too. You guys having a good time so far? Yeah. Very cool. Hopefully the rain split holds off. Yeah, it's 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 kind of like can't make up his mind. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Oh, you don't have to do that. Thank you. We just want you to know we really enjoy watching. Oh, thank you. Where are you guys from? Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah. Central Pennsylvania. Nice. Did you guys want to say hi on the stream? Yeah, sure. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> awesome. So, um, time. yeah. So, how long are you here for? We're going home tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. Back north, so, yeah. yeah. Well, at least you got some good weather. I mean, I know it's like rainy, but it's like kind of nice and cool. So, yeah. it's kind of nice. Yeah. Awesome. Good to see you. Yeah, absolutely. How's that? Well, I was watching 19. 2019. Yeah. And it was between Christmas and New Year's, and I was watching them uh, talking about stuff that was abandoned, and they were talking about the resort they were going to put up in Virginia. Yes. And then all of a sudden, all this Disney stuff started. Oh. <laughs> yeah, YouTube has a way of doing that. I'm always glad when they, they lead people to find us. Order. I've been watching Disney all day. That's so cool. Live oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you guys found us. A lot of people find us through the uh, resort TV, you know, because it's, it's like the resort, the, the hotel TV channels. But that's cool. You guys found us through like a um, hotel that wasn't going to be built. That's yeah. kind of cool. Because we go through that, I think it's around Leesburg where we're going to put it. Oh, ah, okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't, you never you never know with some of those rumors what happens or if it was, you know, how serious they were or not. But it's yeah. always interesting for sure. Yep. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, it's nice to meet you both. Oh, I will. Yeah, for sure. You guys enjoy the rest of your trip today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we like watching her videos too. That you know, we have a good they have a good time with that. She's been enjoying it, and she it's nice because she kind of knows she's like, oh, I get it. It does take a long time to edit these videos. I'm like, yeah, it does. So it's kind of fun. We get to do that together now. So anyway, but yeah, nice to meet you guys and enjoy the rest of your trip. Yep. All right. So, um, I wouldn't mind paying more for Disneyland because it's a steal of a deal for California. However, I wish they would get rid of reservations. Hey, John. Yeah. Um, so Britt was saying he thinks it's pretty expensive and he, you know, they're not sure what they're going to do. Um, so, so I don't know. The California one is, is way more expensive than Florida. Florida, you're talking, um, for the top pass in Florida, renewal is 1200, uh, new pass is 1400. So, you know. It's interesting for sure. Uh, in California, I believe you're close to two thousand dollars. So that's a lot more. Oh wow! Uh, thank you, Imar, for posting that super chat from Larry Stockov. Uh, Twenty dollars. Hey Josh, thanks for another walkabout on this Wednesday night. Thank you so much, Larry. I appreciate it. Thanks, Larry, for the uh, Twenty dollars super chat. That is very, very generous and very much appreciated. Tonight, yeah. Especially with all the crazy stuff we've got going on. It's Oh, wow, this is the Burn Bombs Guidebook. I'm kind of looking in here for the Epcot, the retro Epcot shirt. I found it at, at um, Creations, but unfortunately, it's not available in any any size I could wear. It's small, and then it goes straight to extra large, and extra large is like you know huge on me, so I need a medium or a large. So anyway, 
not able to do that, but I'm hoping one of these days that they'll have more. So anyway, yeah, I wanted to get that retro Epcot shirt, but maybe one of these days. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, I've got forever. Miss Sammy, Amy, and Jason Miller. Hi, everybody. Oh, we're going to go explore a little bit. Now, we didn't go to Beach Club last time, so let's start out over there. I don't really want to take the Skylander right now because there's a chance we'll get stuck <coughs> somewhere. So I know, uh, I guess, you know, that technically would take us straight to Riviera, but we'll see. Um, kind of want to ride the friendship boats here. So I don't know if I'll make, I don't think I would make this boat. Um, I might, I don't know, I could try. Let's see, they're already... Yeah, let's walk. There are already people outside and, and it's kind of, those boats are not the greatest inside. You can't see that well. Hey, Jamie Davis, those clouds are iffy. They sure are. Moppers are the best. Thanks guys, we appreciate all of you. And so like I said, as we grow, we'll add a few more here and there and, and uh, that way those people that have been doing it for years and years you know, can have a little break sometimes. Hey, Carlos, Disney Wolf Freak. We got a lot of moppers in tonight, though. Pretty cool. I should have ruined my magic key yesterday. Oh, no. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll take the boat here in a little while, maybe. Well, let's walk for now. And the weather's still good, so that's, that's nice. Hello, Tiki Man fan. Hello, Kelly. Let's go explore, explore, explore. That's right. the other boats here. I don't know, one of the service boats, I guess. A relaxing stroll here. Yep, enjoying the stroll. It's the path I guess for Southern California residents it has a lot of blackouts. Oh, okay, okay. I see, John. So yeah, I think Britt had the like the the top one. Magic key or whatever they call it. Um, had the top one so you can you could uh, come every day no matter what. Again, welcome in everybody. Sixteen hundred people watching almost or fifteen hundred and something. Good to see y'all. We're watching from Ohio. Hello, W. Dally. One of those streams I would put on again when I'm going to bed. That's awesome, Cape Cod Sarah. <laughs> the employee, yeah, Jamie. <laughs> Cast member pass. The the wind is like it's like you can feel it. There's a, some kind of a must be a cold front behind this. You can feel it. It's very brisk and crisp.
bop, bop, bop the like. <laughs> hey, CH. It's kind of nice walking down here. There's hardly anybody out. We're wandering on Wednesday. And we have fall break and it's a teacher work day tomorrow. Life is good. I had a recital last night. My kids played so well, had the greatest, greatest performance. One of the best, that, well, probably the best recital that we've had at school uh, since I've been there. And we pushed them really hard because they were playing hard music and they had to really work at it, but they got it and I was so proud of them. It's such amazing, just almost getting emotional back there, you know, in my seat. Because, you know, when you do a recital, the teacher just sits there because the kids do all the work. I even had kids announcing you know stuff I didn't I didn't do anything except just do the closing announcement thanks for coming check out some refreshments on your way out um, but anyway I'm so proud of the kids it was so awesome just to sit there and watch them get emotional you know because they're they're doing so good Thanks, Plymouth Rock. So, Sean, um, you conducting a band concert, but this was a recital. So the difference is, and uh, you know, and, and it's okay because not everybody, you know, uh, may have, you know, may have like thought much about the difference between the two. It's it's totally fine. It's probably a little confusing, but um, basically, what it is is a recital is where they um, soloists or small ensembles will play pieces by themselves with no conductor generally, uh, like piano recitals or whatever, um, and so. Um, during the concerts would be where we have the uh, during the concerts would be where we have the um, what do you call it um, the conductor yeah so hey Chad thanks everybody testament of a great teacher thank you oh sorry you're not coming Mandy when we start working on the Christmas show music uh, you mean the one that I'm going to play uh, or you mean the one that the, uh, so our band is not having a uh, "Quote unquote Christmas show," where we're having a fall concert, so that's a thing that's happening. But, um, but for my stuff, I don't know. I'm hoping I have some time pretty soon to work on the the stuff for Corey's Mr. Recital part. No, Sean, no worries. I just want to make sure everybody understood because I didn't I didn't explain it. So thank you for asking the question, um, so that we I could clarify. Hey, Max Ninja, watching. Welcome, welcome. Can't wait to spend my coffee mornings on this beach next month. Else. That's pretty cool. So, even with the clouds, it's a nice view. All right. Awesome about the concert. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah, it was great. All the and and here's the cool. Here's the other thing. There was a lot of pressure because every administrator for high school and everything else was there. Everybody was there, which was awesome. You know, fine arts people and all the people they were there to support the kids. So that was really awesome. I. Super appreciated them being there. Yes, I'll be performing in the third annual Magical Night of Hope. So definitely check that out. I'll be on Corey Meets World channel. And uh, I will be playing along with Bob and Corey. Corey and I always do like a duet of some kind. And so we always enjoy that. But definitely um, definitely be sure to uh, check that out. You can watch the stream and donate to Give Kids the World if you want. And it's going to be great. Favorite table service meal? Whew, that's a hard one. Uh, honestly, one of the most one of my favorite ones is just right over here at the Otsman Steakhouse I've ever had. I've heard some people say they like the um, La Cellier better, but I thought the steak was better, at least for us at the Otsman. Now, it's one of the your mileage may vary situations. Like we may have just caught them on a really good night and caught La Cellier on not a good night. But I've always been kind of underwhelmed by La Cellier. Um, the only thing good there was the pretzel bread, but you pay. 50, 60, 70 bucks for filet mignon and you expect it to be pretty good and it's like kind of dry and you're like, okay, <laughs> I could have, when you feel like you probably could have gotten a, a hamburger at a fast food place and had about the same experience, then you know they they did something wrong. I'm also not the kind of person to complain though, so you know, because by the time you eat enough of it, you're like, I don't really want another one, you know, uh, so it's just, it's one of those things and I don't like to, you know, sometimes they'll, you'll come up and they'll get a refund and all that, so anyway. A long story, like short. I don't. I don't like to say too much because I'm not trying to get a refund or anything. We had the food. We enjoyed it. We just, you know, know that maybe we're, that's not our favorite place anymore. So anyway, um, another one is uh, the the, the uh, Garden Grill. We love that one as well. Proud teacher moment. It sure was. 
Thanks, Jamie. Yeah, I played some sax for sure. It was fun. Uh, pretty glad the stream is happening tonight. I was busy for Tranquil. Yeah, so the stars aligned, right? Yeah, it's uh, kind of crazy. So I had the recital last night, so that's why Tranquil Tuesday was not a thing tonight, or last night, I should say. But I also, um, you know, also have this weekend. Jenna's doing Friday Night Live on her own, and I'll let her announce that. Of course, I don't want to spoil that. So Jenna doing Friday Night Live. I'm going to hang out with my friend who I haven't seen for a couple months now. And then Saturday, uh, Jenna's going to have a video Saturday, and then I'll stream again on Sunday. Because, again, got my friend down, so... My daughter performed last night in their first marching competition. They got a two overall. That's awesome, Alicia. I bet they worked really hard for that. Magical Night of Hope is going to be great, Jan. My dad got food poisoning. Oh, my goodness. Well, they definitely didn't have a good experience. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's, it's kind of one of those hit or miss type things. Where are we at? We're at the beach club. All right. La Celia is a little bit overrated. We love flying fish and citrus. I've never tried both of those, either one of those, so I want to... Definitely check that out sometime. Must have gotten a bad cook. My steak at La Cellier was the best day I've ever had. Walter, that's cool. That's what I've heard people say. So I must have just been there on an off day. So, okay. You never know. Boathouse is up there. I need to go eat there. I have not. How's your friend doing? Uh, Matt, so that's the friend. He's doing much better. That is the friend who is uh, coming to visit me. The one who had the medical issue uh, back last, uh, last year, about, right about this time last year. This is cool. I like the Beach Club Polo. Oh, it's a Vineyard Vines. That's a name brand for different types of clothing. But there's no price tag on it. Ooh, they got the little, the little whale on it. <laughs> That's a cute little whale. I will say that. You like the self-portrait? My nephew just started Vanderbilt University on a music scholarship playing saxophone. Very cool. Yeah, he's doing much better. And like I said, that's why I'm so excited to spend time with him this weekend. So he's leaving uh, to go back home on Sunday uh, morning. So that's why I'm going to stream Sunday uh, afternoon or Sunday evening and Sunday night. <laughs> James said maybe it's a new cook who thought it was La Cellar. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I mean, you know, you, you never know. I, I Like I said, I hate, to, I hate to be too gripey. But at the same time, when you pay that much money for something, you know, it's kind of one of those things. Oh, Mark says the same thing. He agrees. New price tag means pricey. Yeah, <laughs> isn't the kitchen sink ice cream challenge? Yes, it's not even a it's not even a challenge. It's just a it's just a thing you can order. Yes, it is. It is um, in the beach club here. Love that brand and the whale. My daughter got me into that brand. That's cool. As long as it's like sort of reasonably priced. Um, I'm good with it, but I don't know. I'm not, you know, and I know stuff is made better and that, this and that, but I'm still like, a, I'm not a huge fan of like 90 or $100 polos. I mean, if it's a nice, you know, button up Oxford shirt, whatever, sure, but nah. Why am I going this way? <laughs> we're just going to go, we're going to go visit somebody's room apparently. <laughs> All right, let's go back this way. Sorry, for some reason, I thought I was in the boardwalk for a second and I was going to go down to the solarium, but that is not a thing that is here. Josh's new retro channel is a blast. That's awesome. Yeah, tonight I have a retro channel premiere. It's only nine minutes long. So please stay around for nine minutes after the, the, the stream. Um, and the, it's going to be something, even if you don't like like tech and computers, it's one, something everybody can kind of relate to. And that is going to be, oh, Solarium's over here. That is going to be, um, how long does a 27-year-old laptop battery last? I'm going to go investigate that for you. So... I'll show you how long a 27-year-old laptop battery lasts with two different laptops. So that'll be tonight. I agree with the cellier was also underwhelmed. My husband ate that kitchen sink all by himself. Oh my goodness. No worries I could do that. Or no, no way I could do that. Sean says, in my opinion, there are nicer brands for that price. Okay. Good to know. I love these. These paintings are so nice because it's like they painted it. It was here. Thanks for hitting the like. Um, let's see. Noah says, go Josh, go Resort TV One. One more like. Hey, Manoa J. All right. 
I'd say about nine minutes. <laughs> nope, I cut, I cut, you know, the video. I'm sure you're joking, but yeah, I cut the video, so there's no way to know. I will say how long a 27-year-old battery will last will surprise you. And also, there's like 5,000 people. No, just kidding. There's like nobody in here. It's crazy. You gotta go wide angle. Bam. So the Dooney and Burke person, yeah, we'll see. I didn't, I don't know, that I just, I don't normally look at them, so I, if I missed them, I don't know. Pointillism, yeah. Cool, huh? That's a Disney Springs commercial over there. Pretty fun, oops, sorry. Hey, classy Disney mom, sorry you're not feeling well, hope you feel better. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. We're gonna go out into the gazebo. I don't know, just felt like exploring this amazing place. Shouldn't a 27 year old battery last for 27 years? Well, <laughs> how long does it stay charged? Maybe I should have asked it better. I know, Sean, you're giving me a hard time. Ooh, it's raining. Okay. Steph's vlog was great yesterday. She definitely puts a lot into them. Yeah, Plymouth Rock for sure. Thank you for saying that. She works really hard on them. And hey, let's go over into the villas real quick while we're kind of escaping the rain. I don't think the rain's gonna last too long. There's Ariel. They have statues like that in Golden Oak I thought were really cool. Hey, RJ. I love these. It's like 3D art. I agree with you about the $100 polo shirt. 20 years ago I bought, uh, I would buy a polo as a souvenir, but I just stick with the t-shirt. Yeah, because the t-shirts are about the same price as the, well, refurbishment. T-shirts about the same price as the polos were, or, yeah, you know what I mean. The t-shirts now are about the same price as the polos back then. I love this room and I'm the only one in it. That's kind of fun. You have taught me to enjoy hotels and their design. Thanks, Wendy, that's so cool. It is nice music, Jamie. I agree. This is such a relaxing little room. You could just like sit here and just like chill. Also, look at this. Look at the Mickey balloon. Isn't that cool? So relaxing. <laughs> the drawing room? What do we draw in there? Just kidding. Just kidding. Well, apparently the drawing room is, oh wait, no, it's okay. It's open, but yeah. Anyway, super fun. This is Tiki Man Fan says, big shout out to David's Vacation Club Rentals. They did very well for us. Thanks Tiki Man Fan. That's good to know. I like, I like that. Hello, Kofa Creative Studio. All right, well, we're just gonna walk right out there. It's not raining that hard. So, um, yeah, if you, that's a good segue. If you wanna rent a DVC room for a fraction of the cost, check out David's DVC Rentals at dvcrequest.com slash TV. That's dvcrequest.com slash TV. Go check it out. Even if you're already a member, you can get better deals, or if you're not a member, you can get just deals. <laughs> I guess I could have gone around the other way. I didn't even think about it. Oh well. All right. But either way, definitely check out David's DVC rentals. DVCrequest.com slash TV. MK is open from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Yeah, I know. I wish I could go over and stay late there, but I 
Uh, I do have to work tomorrow, so. Hey, Weather and Low, how are you? Hello, David. DMB David. Hey, David, I, I put in I put in an offer on that computer. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have, and they might not accept it, but it was a computer that had all the parts I need to fix the one that uh, David so generously gave me. Basically, David's works inside. The one he gave me works inside. It boots up, powers on, plays games, does everything, but it's got a broken... It's got broken plastic on the case that makes it impossible to close it. Uh, whereas um, this one that I, I put an offer on eBay actually has doesn't turn on, but it has a perfect case uh, that doesn't even have any cracks or scratches or anything on it. So <laughs> I'm hoping I can kind of swap things out. We'll see. Either way, Retro TV One Tech will be where you find all that. <laughs> you might find me. I don't know. You might want you might want to watch just so you can see if I mess it up. <laughs> all right. I hope I don't. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try really hard not to. All right, guys. Let's stroll. It's hard to believe, but, but uh, Christmas will be here before you know it. Or Christmas uh, decorations, that is, will be here before you know it. It's Kate May. Let me know in the chat if you like Kate May. And also, guys, don't forget to check out Jenna's channel. She's got Adventures of Jenna and Dale right there on, uh, you, right here on YouTube as well. That's Adventures of Jenna and Dale. Go check it out. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Jeremy. Hello, who that, Dave? Hey, Amy. Discover the magic. Hello, Roger. How are you? Welcome in. <laughs> hope things are going well in, uh, I hope things are going well in your neck of the woods in clear water. All right. Hey, this fan. I used to love this hallway because it's just like this nice, relaxing wind around here. I don't know. When we stayed here when I was a kid, we stayed here in mid-90s, like 95, I think. I don't know. Whenever it was, Boardwalk wasn't finished yet. Like, we actually rented boats and we we um, sailed around, boated around <laughs> um, the lagoon out here at Crescent Lake. And we were able to see Boardwalk under construction. I'll have to grab some uh, video of that off of our, um, our videos that, that I got. We may, I put them all on DVD. We love Kate May. Character breakfast. Nice. We stayed there three weeks ago. This is a cool place, too. Martha's Vineyard. Painting in the vineyard. <laughs> Look, the, the, the host stand is a, it's a uh, boat. So, that's fun. Is it autom oh, automatic? Oh, there we go. All right. So here we go. So over here is Beaches and Cream. It used to be a tiny little place that nobody knew about. Now it's very, very busy and you need reservations to get in. And I, I, we haven't been there for a long time because of that, unfortunately. But it's still really, really good. I really enjoy it. All right. People are still out there swimming. Uh, Christmas decorations just start to... Um, The Christmas decorations uh, usually start to go up like right after um, Halloween. So they're actually having a Halloween party like on November 1st. But by the way, the restaurant used to be much, much uh, smaller. It used to go over here and I believe it stopped like right here maybe? I don't know. Either way, or no, maybe it started over here. I don't, I'm not sure. Actually, maybe it was here. Either way, I don't know. It's a lot bigger now. <laughs> So, but yeah, it is very, very hard uh, to get in here a lot of times because it's still not huge. But they took out some of the arcade, I believe, and they took out uh, some of the, uh, the Ariel's Lounge over there. But either way, it's not got a long, like a huge menu, but they're really, really, really good burgers. They're better than what you would normally get. And then, of course, they got the ice cream. Here's the kitchen sink. It is $38. And there's the ice cream desserts. If you want to see that, you can pause the video right here. There's kids meals, soups and stuff, and your big entrees. It's like triple the size, at least now. Oh, is it really? I thought it was smaller than it used to be. I could be wrong. 
It is raining pretty good now. But I'm gonna go check out the yacht club a little bit more, and then my plan right that my plan after that is to um, just walk in the rain a little bit. I've got my umbrella and I've got my waterproof Vessi shoes on, so we'll check that out and see how those work. Um, so here's the arcade. Um, it's a pretty big arcade, but this one's pretty busy because it's very much in a uh, it's in a high traffic area. So. My husband ate that kitchen sink by himself. Vicky, that's amazing. That's incredible. Is it the Minnie Mouse kitchen sink? I'm not sure. That's a great question. Here is the uh, ship shape lounge. Look at the hidden Mickeys here. And even one has a bow. Check that out. There's a hidden Mickey and a hidden Minnie right there. And Morris singing it, trickle, trickle, splash, splash. Tell me how long will this rain last? Staying there in January for the Run Disney races. That's awesome. Oh, wow. So they won. You know, is this team one, two to one, and almost scored a goal? That's amazing. I hope. I hope you guys had better weather for the game than we're having right now David I'm assuming you did but good for her so we're grateful to be watching need a little lightness and pixie dust that's right Leslie we sure do we sure do you had Jamie for sure yeah $22 burger better be good right that price They're obvious Mickeys. Okay, well, you know. I just call all of them hidden Mickeys because it's more fun that way. All right. So. <laughs> and then you're going to get into the whole thing. Was that one obvious? Was it not obvious? I don't know. Yeah, so that, that, that makes it kind of hard to judge. All right, but um, this is pretty cool. That's the Rotunda in the, yacht, in the Yachtsman Steakhouse. It's an amazing, amazing place to eat. I like it. We kept the sink. Yes, I believe you can because it is... Um, yeah, it's part of the deal. It used to be not, or used to not be. It used to be like a metal sink, so you had to give it back, of course, and who wants to carry around a metal sink in their luggage? Beautiful here today, but we're going to get rain this weekend for the sixth weekend in a row. Oh, sorry to hear that. Hey, Allie. I'm guessing you're where the big hidden Mickey you can see if you walk up the stairs in the lobby of the Yacht Club. I believe so, but I'll check it out here in a minute. Beach and Cream was a lot smaller. Yes, yeah, it was, and we were there, like, right when it was started to, uh, Right when it was um, starting to reopen, we were there. So, all right. So here is the check-in area for the yachtsman. Really, really cool. Check out the menu here. Uh, we went for my birthday a while back, so here you go. The fillet is fifty-three. That actually hasn't gone up that much. I'm actually surprised. I was expecting it to be worse. All right. So, um, so I remember Steph and I went and we both got the filet and um, I believe we each had a glass of wine and it was just over, I don't know, just over 100, 120 with tips. So it's gone up a little, but not that much. And we were there over well over 10 years ago. It's a cruise cup. It's a pretty, pretty neat little lounge in here. Nautically themed. Right, I can go up there and just kind of show you the inside of it real quick. I don't like to show people what they're eating, but these, you know, just kind of show you the the way it looks in here. It's pretty neat. It's like dark themed and it's very cozy. So it's fun. All right. Well, kitchen sink is metal in here. The mini kitchen sink is made for two to four people in smaller red and plastic. Okay, so they still have the metal one. Cool, it's just been so long since I got one, I did not know. Thank you for clarifying. And you see, this is kind of parallel or mirrors the design of the Beach Club. Well, this, this would be the area of uh, Cape May where you're going around this, this long hallway here. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. Climbing towards 2,000 people in the chat. We don't, we're not usually live on Wednesday, so thanks for joining us on a day when we're not usually live. 
Next week it'll be Tuesday again, back to Tranquil Tuesday. And then I won't be live uh, on Halloween because uh, we'll be out, of course, trick-or-treating with Liam and some friends. So uh, that's the only other Tranquil Tuesday I'll miss for a while is Halloween, of course. So I want to spend it with my a little buddy and, and my awesome wife, Steph. Head-to-head, -head, I think I prefer Shula's. I have not eaten there, so I don't. Uh, I can't say one way or the other, David, but thank you for letting me know. So there you go. All right, so this whole thing is very, very... Um, like even with the, with especially with the rain, but it's very dark in here, which is kind of cool. I really like the atmosphere here. This is the little bar area, the waiting area, the lounge. So it's super fun. It is beautiful, like the, the wood paneling and everything, the deep blue, really nice. I actually just got a new drum set for our school that was kind of that same color of deep blue, so that's kind of neat. All right, let's go see. Oh, the hidden Mickey. Yes, I can show that from here. Let's see. Yep, that's right here. I think a hidden Mickey, I was uh, trying to, uh, I saw Tiki Man's thing earlier. I think a hidden Mickey can be both big and hidden because it's, it may be hard to see. So let me see. Uh, yeah, right, right there. There it is. Hidden Mickey. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, either way, no, but I, mean, I know Tiki Man fan, you're probably kidding, but I... I think uh, if it's big enough, it can be pretty hidden. The uh, solar panels um, out s somewhere on property are uh, by Epcot, I think, here, are uh, also a big hidden Mickey, really big. Any golf cart trips? Yes, we are. I don't remember what day. I think 25th and 26th. 25th, I believe, is the night of that. All right, we're ready to, ready to uh, captain the ship. The decor in here is gorgeous. Yeah, it is, Leslie, for sure. That's a huge hidden Mickey, yes. <laughs> I'd say anything that's a that's a hidden that's a Mickey in a place that's maybe not meant to be Mickey, that's gonna be hidden, even if it's not that hidden. Of course the Haunted Mansion plates, that was not meant to be a hidden Mickey, and then the cast members added it in. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the hit, there's a hidden Mickey book. Maybe it has a better definition than what I just uh, just gave you. Not sure. Either way, it's a pretty cool area. Enjoy it a lot. All right. Well, I guess we're probably going to go out. I'm going to go up here and check in check into my office. I've still got an old school phone up here, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to check into my office and, and you know hang out and get some work done for a minute. Then we'll keep going. <laughs> oh man, I didn't bring my laptop. All right. Need to bring my IBM ThinkPad 701C, right, <laughs> David? Okay. Good to see all will be ninja watching until I can be more active. Yeah, no worries. Or did it stop raining already? That's cool. I'm in favor of that. All right, let's see if we can ride a boat somewhere. International hidden Mickey and accidental or unintentional or intentional or unintentional. That's right, Bomo. That's right. Did you ever peek your head into the Yacht Club Convention Center? No, Spaceship Ears, I didn't. I haven't done that. Uh, I wasn't sure where to go or how to get in there. Hey, Savannah, we stayed at the Yacht Club for our honeymoon this year. It was wonderful. The nautical elements throughout the whole resort is so relaxing. Hey, Pamela. All right. Carla would enjoy touring World Disney World. I think she would, too. Uh, I am actually, I just kind of changed my mind. I'm going to go back in here and, and uh, um, hold on a second. Nope, never mind. Let me, um, we'll come back here in a second. Let me. There we go. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, the, the big hidden Mickey at Studios. Is that still there, though? Because they, they really, they had it there, and then it's not. Um, so, the, yeah, the big the big uh, hidden Mickey was, uh, was really cool because it's, like, with planters and stuff. Hey, Lisa. <sighs> so relaxing walking around here.
convention center is through the other door of the lobby. Large building outside. I was surprised how nice it was in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all their convention centers are really cool. Uh, but the only two I've been in are, uh, of course, the Contemporary and then also the, um, the Coronado Springs. So we did some of our media stuff in Coronado Springs and some in Contemporary. We've never done anything in, in Boardwalk, though. It's been cut up. Yeah, it was easier to see when it was first new. Actually, you could see like the entire, it wasn't just like the ears and the eyes and whatever. It was like literally Mickey's whole head when the park was built. I never even noticed it back in the day. Well, it looks like it might be a while till uh, another boat comes in here. But I'll walk out here and get you guys some great views. Hey Kyle, how are you? TBG says I was in there a few weeks ago. It was gorgeous. We once took a fireworks cruise from here. It was so much fun. Yeah, you take one of these boats right here. I have done that also. Um, that was uh, something I was privileged to do with a few YouTubers. Uh, that They uh, all invited us out to come out and hang out for a little while. That was super fun. Everybody thinks all the YouTubers in this big competition. And like, that's funny because we're kind of laughing because we're all, we're all hanging out on this fireworks cruise uh, that one of the people invited us on and I was like um, I was like you know imagine everybody thinks like we're in this big competition and really like we're just enjoying you know hanging out so it's a massive venue yeah Dave for sure hey Tropic Adventures Kyle gonna be here in two weeks nice awesome sauce Left stain at the yacht club got pixie dusted with the water view room. Nice, Laura. That's always a nice pixie dusting. I feel like this is coming through pretty quick here. The only competition is the ride competition. That's true. That is true. Where are these clouds going? I can't. They're kind of going. Oh, they're kind of like swirling. That's weird. All right. Well, it'll move through. I'm sure. Hello from London, Tony says. I always thought that the Dolphin Buffet was awesome. Have not been there since COVID. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I haven't been to the Dolphin Buffet either. Okay, so this this boat should take us on a ride here. Swirling equals bad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Got another... PayPal here. Let me see if I can pull it up. Thank you guys for all the generosity. We appreciate it. Um, R. Smith sent $10 and said, say hi to Lynn in Parker. Thank you, R. Smith, for that $10 PayPal. And hello to Lynn in Parker. Um, Spaceship Beer said anybody just been to Shula's. Now, David was just in here, DMB. David was just saying that he really enjoyed Shula. So it's, it's probably like, you know, where I said the Yachtsman was amazing and some other people said it wasn't. So I wonder if it really is just a your mileage may vary situation. And that's the risk of, of going to a really, really expensive restaurant is that, you know, you might get your money's worth and then some and you might not. And that's rough. I miss with any restaurant, but yeah, it's hard. Because, you know, still, cooking is still an art and uh, definitely uh, something not to be taken for granted. So yeah, it's a good point. So Spaceship Beers obviously said, you know, you didn't have a good experience there. So I just wonder, I wonder. I like how you say there's room for everyone on the platform. It's very kind and encouraging. Thanks, Lisa. Absolutely there is. Absolutely there is. This is a great view. I was went to Shula's on a business trip and loved it. I've heard good things about it. I've just never personally been there to make my own review. One of these days, I had an amazing meal at Yacht Club Steakhouse. Shula's wasn't as good. Yeah, as basic beers. I've been to Yachtsman and I thought it was amazing. A couple of other people on there said it wasn't. So yeah, you know, it's very, very interesting for sure. And it looks like we're gonna get some rain. Richard had, uh, had dinner at the Yachtsman. It was expensive, but good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, for us, the filet mignon was amazing. Second best filet I've ever had. First best would be at uh, Club Thirty Three, and Club Thirty Three is one of those places that you know you just don't ask what you just don't ask how much stuff is at Club Thirty Three. <laughs> 1900, yeah, Leslie, almost. 
Super close. Hi, Ann. My Disney World, I've been several times and never disappointed. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's good. It's good to know that other people had good experiences and uh, maybe, uh, hopefully, especially yours, yours was a, maybe was a fluke. So hopefully that's the case. I don't know. But that wind is blowing. Yeah, it's blowing. Let me check the radar here real quick. Oh, hey, fun times. Uh, oh, it's going up. Interesting. Let me, uh, we're just going to back up in here a little bit. Pull this back up here real quick. Rain ending in 15 minutes. That's cool. Okay. So it's going north. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to be going through this a little bit and then we'll be good to go. Alright. The most tender steak at Artist Point. Le Cellier is probably number two. Yeah, you know, we've. Uh, I've been to Le Cellier probably three, four times and, and never really had a great steak there. Yes, the Gotham does a play me really, really well. That's the one that I got. Let's see what side is going on here. <laughs> on, on this side, maybe. It's raining in clear water. Yeah, exactly, Roger. It looks like it's not going to take long. I love how they flip these things around. Watch this. So close. They can do it. Wait, you were in the rain and Wow, that is just literally expert, expert, so good. We were a big group from a conference and all of us had a beautiful, delicious experience. That's awesome, Bali 10 Gamer. Which, which restaurant was that? Uh, sorry, I didn't see what you said there. Yachts one was our number one. That's awesome. Yeah, though ours was so good at um, Club 33. Of course, was just amazing. Artist Point never had that one. <laughs> Disney has great boat captains. They do. Thanks, Blair. Yeah, it's beautiful tonight. We'll see if there's room outside. I think I can stay kind of dry. Boats can, that can spin on a dime is just cheating. I know, right? Must have a super, super crazy awesome motor in there. Gonna, we're just gonna get on and ride. See if I can do this without getting too wet. Yeah, we got this. All right, here we go. That's not bad. It's not that wet. That is pretty loud, though. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this all right? It'd be loud. Uh, no, usually it doesn't make you seasick on this. It's pretty cool. So, all right. loud but it'd be better view because uh, when you're inside with the rain on the windows it doesn't look very good. So we're going to Epcot but well, then we're going to ride the boat to the next stop whatever it is. Just turn your sound down if you need to.
Yeah, we'll just get off here. We're boardwalk. That's awesome. Perfect. Yeah, we'll just get off right here. I may have to wipe off the, the lens a little bit, but be good. Oh, hey. It's raining harder. That's not nice. <laughs> That's not nice. I need to have my umbrella ready. Okay. Here we go. Umbrella. Okay, now we're really gonna test these waterproof shoes, man. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, watch your stuff. Watch your stuff. Okay, there we go. Woohoo! And we are golden. Thank you, Umbrella, and thank you, Vessi Shoes. Hashtag not a sponsor. Yeah, it's just a little bit of rain, so it'll be it'll be it'll be done in a minute. But I think I'm gonna go out inside for a little bit. I really am curious about these shoes. Hey Jody. Alright, I don't want my bag to get wet, so let's go in the shop for a minute. Or we could go actually, but you know what? We didn't go up into the lobby last time. Let's go into the lobby real quick. Friends. There's the flying fish people we're talking about. very pretty in the rain yeah you hear it it's cold and it's, it's raining hard these shoes are working great my feet are still totally dry I like it yeah, it's pouring hashtag not a fan your favorite chandeliers in the flying fish that's cool okay getting worse <laughs> it's alright. Yes, we gotta do the creepy chairs. That's right. That's right, Sean. We're doing them. We're doing creepy chairs. I'm definitely not gonna get wet at all. Just kidding. I'm less wet than I would be. That's for sure. Almost. Almost to the sea, the roof here. Okay, these shoes rock. That's why I love this umbrella. It just close here. Look how it closes. Isn't this cool? Ready? So here it's out. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. But watch how it closes. It closes. It closes in on itself. Like this. It's kind of hard to show. I should have put the wide angle on, but you get the point. It closes in on itself. So, it keeps the rain from making you too wet. Oh, it's all hand blown glass. Wow. Rumor has it, it's one of Iger's favorites. That's cool. <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. I love it. All right, let me. Dry the lens. There we go. Should be nice and dry now. <sighs> Lambrella based on your recommendation. That's awesome. I need to put my I need to put my link up. People can use our link. Go see Lucy the Elephant. Okay, I will. Give me a second. All right, I need to, uh, eh, I'm gonna need it again here in a minute. Let's see if I can put my umbrella in the bag here. I've got a nice little umbrella pouch on the side of this bag. There you go. It's kind of hard to see anything that's close because I've got the regular lens on. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, here, now you should be able to see it when I point at it. There you go. Umbrella, in the bag. And off we go. Hello, carousel. What's your favorite song about rain? I don't know. I don't I didn't know that I had one. I like both of those songs. Purple Rain, have you ever seen the rain? I don't know, probably like, have you ever seen the rain better than Purple Rain? Not that I don't like Purple Rain, I just like, I 
am just like not the world's biggest Prince fan, even though I like him. Um, the guitar solo he did was pretty cool. Now these are all castles, all well, the different parks. Singing in the Rain, that's a good one. Yeah, let's get to a thousand likes, everybody. All right. Look at this. Is this Magic Kingdom? I can't tell. Mm -hmm. That might be like France or something. Mm -hmm. Sound effects are required. Just saying. Actually, you know what? Okay, I think I think the Magic Kingdom in the front here. Let's do this one. Mm -hmm. Hey, Unique Adventures with Daryl. That might be Hong Kong. I have, I have cool little zoom buttons. Not sure what all these are. Okay, and then here's another one. Kind of hard to tell what they all are. And then you have, okay, here's Cinderella Castle. That's right here in the middle. There we go. So this, this has got to be Cinderella Castle right here in the middle. It's got to be in order of how they were built. November Rain. Okay, yeah, November Rain is my favorite. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. Okay, this has got to be Disneyland. Wait for it. Bam. There you go. And the one over here has got to be Tokyo. So if they're in order... Okay, so if they're in order then, then this is what it is. Okay, so then this is Tokyo because it's much like Magic Kingdom. Okay, so this is Tokyo. Unit paintings of all the Tower of Terror is next. And over here, the one I showed over here, that's got to be um, France. Um, or Paris, if you want to call it that. And then um, this has got to be Hong Kong, and then the next one is Shanghai. There you go. Ding, 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 ding. Winner, winner, winner. Creepy chairs. Here you go. Creepy chairs. Creepy chairs. Creepy chairs. Creepy chairs. Creepy chairs. Creepy chairs. Other creepy chair. Creepy chair. <laughs> Something about orchestra and rock instruments together and in in com that completely rules. Metallica and Guns N' Roses did it best. Yes, for sure. Hey, Hoya Mickey. <laughs> Just like that. I love that they have painted toenails too. That's such a detail. I know, that's gonna, yes, this is the new thumbnail for the stream. Everybody's totally gonna click on this. I could use that for Halloween Horror Nights. Also, I'm not going to sit on them because I feel like if I broke it, it would be a bad thing. I don't think I would, but anyway. Also, Lucy. Lucy the elephant. There she is. There's a whole house in there. Definitely a BRB screen candidate. Abby, happy Wandering Wednesday. We're watching uh, and celebrating LJ's birthday. Nice, Abby. Missy Fraga, hey Josh, thank you for everything. I needed the stream tonight after a long day in the classroom. Thank you, Missy. Sorry you had a long day in the classroom, but thank you for that 9.99 super chat. We appreciate it. Thank you for this peaceful stream. Then you showed the chair and the toes. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, Diane. Uh, we had to have fun. We have to have fun sometimes, right? Not that we don't always, but that was that was kind of fun. I like to be silly. Their names on the back of the chairs. That's right. But I don't really want to move them because I feel like maybe I shouldn't. But either way. Mm. Can't see without moving it. That's all right. Just logged in here. You're seeing about creepy chairs. We're gonna make that. We're gonna make that a a YouTube short. Here, ready? Let's do it right now. I'll put this up. I'll put this up later. Creepy chairs. Oop, we got to do it again. Creepy chairs at the boardwalk. Also, they have their toenails painted, and apparently they each have their own name. There you go. That's a short right there. So cool. <laughs> 
a little carousel coffee shop open until 3.30. Where Lucy is six stories tall and is on the National Register of Historical Places. That's awesome. Yeah, here we go. All right, I'm just gonna post that as a short right now. Feel free to watch it, like literally. I'm, I'm not even gonna do anything with it. I'm just going to post it as a short and that's it. There we go. Hold on, I'm posting it. All right, it's a short now. The nanny chair names are Carrie and Todd. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Carrie and Todd, I love that. Thank you, Mara. All right. And there's a new short posted, because why not? Go watch the short. It's right there. Look, there it is. You can be the first like on it right now. <laughs> there you go, go watch the short. Go be the first like on it. So much fun. I love these carousel horses too, isn't that cool? I'm sure I can like that chair. Favorite rain song, Duran Duran's Hold Back the Rain. There you go. Sing creepy chairs to brother. <laughs> Hi. Good, how are you? Cool. I love the old old time radio. Our school did um, an older time show, like a 20s show, and so they had a lot of older props and stuff, old radios and things. It's already got three likes. There you go. Go check it out, guys. The chairs belong to the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Imagine those showed up in the front of your house. Yeah. They're going back. Get a room with a bin. They were larger than the other rooms because of the odd dimensions. That's cool, Jay. I just watched the short. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. These are fun. This kid looks like he's having a good time. I blow the rains down and out to guns. There are more of those great creepy chairs on the inside of Boardwalk. I saw them on the first floor. That's interesting. So they have it's a whole set then. It's a whole set of creepy chairs. I love these paintings. They really should have these paintings like somewhere where you can buy it. The stream is getting us excited about our next trip to Disney in May to celebrate my son's graduation, and we will be staying at Boardwalk Villas. Nice. What did Jay say? I missed it. If you, oh yeah, okay, I just read it. The chats, nice and medium speed tonight. I've been able to read most of the comments. If I missed yours, I'm sorry. Never, ever intentional. Be healthier also, like parade floats and stuff. Nerve and muscle massage, because why not? Glad they took the creepy clown off the pool, yeah. Bellevue Lounge is so nice. So cool. 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. It tells you how to get that. You're out late on school night. So I don't have school tomorrow. I have a work day tomorrow. So I don't have to be there as early. And super fun. So I usually go out on school nights uh, on Tuesdays, though. I always wonder if they make duplicates of the paintings. They might. They very well might. Yeah, I'll recharge the gamble with that. Probably burn it up. So cool. Yeah, it's such a great place. For example, they're learning that Linux Cream Polish restores the original handsomeness of fine furniture in one quick, easy application. Creepy face.
Battery check. 61%. Thank you, Amar. Appreciate it. Yeah, my battery's been lasting a long time lately. Okay. I think I'm going to take a quick restroom break while we're next to the restrooms. And uh, we'll I'll be right back. Let's see many views Creepy Chairs has. 46. That's all right. Just did it for fun. Oh, maybe YouTube's not counting very well. There's 40 likes. <laughs> anyway. Feel free to go over there and, and uh, watch it and get the video started. It might get good traction. We'll see. Either way. All right. I just thought that would be fun. All right. So I'm going to be right back. Enjoy. Um, enjoy a little BRB action. Hope I don't have bad dreams about creepy faces. I know. What is it about boardwalk and creepy faces? <laughs> Sorry about that. Just having some fun. Creepy face. Every child's favorite game. Yeah. Need a creepy chair BRB. I know, right? I'd get in trouble with somebody. Okay. There we go. Got to set up my BRB real quick. We're uh, driving Orlando, Florida. Nice. I don't have an Epcot Resorts BRB. That's fine. Let's just do the regular Epcot BRB. There you go. You'll enjoy that one. Be right back. this memory of this awesome painting like for you know five minutes or so we'll use BRB this time oh well sorry guys I um, Jen and I had two streams today so we had two different streaming keys and I had the BRB set to the wrong streaming key so it's all right <laughs> Sorry about that. We're back though. All back. All right, let's go back downstairs. <laughs> I got back on and I, I saw people saying lag. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh well. You guys will come back here in a minute. Hey Tara. A little rain won't hurt anything. Hey Sarah J. Was frozen by that pain. We'll see. There you go. It was a nice thing to look at. Now, later tonight, yeah, most of you guys are still here, it just takes a minute. Later tonight, we'll be back, or I'll, I'll be doing a uh, Retro TV One Tech uh, premiere. So definitely check that out. There's a Retro TV One Tech premiere right at 9.45, right after the stream, and it's only gonna take nine minutes, and we're gonna find out which laptops have the, um, or the, not which laptops, sorry, we're gonna find out how, how long a 27-year-old laptop battery lasts. Sorry, guys. Had no idea. We just left this area today. We stayed at the Dolphin for three nights for change resorts. Oh, really, Sarah? Okay. I'm glad you had fun. There we go. We were all discussing the art. Nice. Well, thanks for staying with me. I appreciate you guys. So beautiful at night, isn't it? Let me make sure my lens is good here. There we go. Oh. No, it's no, it's yeah. You were on there. <laughs> Hi.
All right. Look at that. So nice. It's like the Atlantic City that never was. Where did I board the boat? Over at um, the Beach Club and Yacht Club. I boarded it over there. He's making sandcastles, but he way back. Wait, where's he making sandcastles at? Do you guys have like a sandbox somewhere? I was just thinking, I don't know if you guys are aware it's already dark, but anyway, cool. We have a sandbox in our backyard that got rained in the last storm, so he has a beach. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Well, thanks for staying with me tonight. I know we lost a couple hundred people back there by the, by the, the pretty painting. At least I didn't lose you by the creepy chairs. <laughs> what a beautiful stroll, my goodness. It does not get any better than that, friends. Yeah, they typically have performers here, but uh, because of the rain, they don't, of course. I don't know if they ever have them on Wednesdays. Too beautiful and even to leave early. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna leave early. Nope, nope, nope. We're not. All right. We're not going to go in that shop because we did spend quite a bit of time there on Friday, which was fun. But uh, let's keep walking because the rain stopped and we are, well, mostly stopped. It's just sprinkling now. But this is just a beautiful time of night to stroll. Let me go over to the dolphin for a little bit. That'd be fun. I'm always looking for the Admiral story. <laughs> yep. From Texas here as well. Awesome, Steve. Well, I haven't talked about any awesome sponsors tonight. Let's start with uh, MickeyTravels.com. If you want to book your next awesome vacation right here to Walt Disney World or any Disney park, definitely check out MickeyTravels.com. That is MickeyTravels.com. To book your next trip to Walt Disney World, just tell them Resort TV One sent you. Also, uh, mickeyblog.com if you want to learn all the latest news about what's going on at Walt Disney World. That's mickeytravels.com uh, and mickeyblog.com. I love the vibe and the background music. Love the drizzling weather. Yeah, isn't it great? And the, the, the reflections are so nice. It's reflecty. So yeah, mickeytravels.com, guys. Go check them out. Ooh, you know what I need to do? That. There we go. That's better. That was a little bright. Now we're not bright anymore. Seventh inning stretch. Phillies eight, Braves two. Nice. Reminds me of home, the Jersey Shore, Tara says. The future's so bright, gotta wear shades. Yeah, David, I remember that one. Good 80s song. Disney really outdid themselves. They did. I remember, remember being here as a kid. I remember, I remember 
having the little water mouse boat right out there. You can watch the, the Spaceship Earth show over there yonder as well. Is it sad that I know that the show that's playing right now is the original Beacon of Magic show? Either way, um, yeah. Also, definitely check out resorttv1homes.com, guys. If you want to, uh, if you want to find your dream home here in Central Florida, just check out resorttv1homes.com. Broker by EXP Realty. That's resorttv1homes.com. Let's keep walking. Resorttv1homes.com. If you want to find that dream home here in Central Florida, you can go click on the contact form and. Um, Talk to one of our expert realtors, and they will find you your dream home here. Talk to you about budgets and all those types of things. So just go to resorttv1homes.com, click on contact us, and fill out the info. Even if you're looking in like a year or something, uh, definitely um, our realtors can help you at least get started. You can start planning and learning about the areas and everything else. And then if you want to learn even more about the areas, definitely check out the YouTube channel, Resort TV One Homes, on YouTube. Everybody check out the Resort TV One Homes YouTube channel. All right, guys. All right. Yeah, we've got um, we got two or uh, we got three closings that three closings that are done, and two that are pending. So we're gonna have uh, by the I don't know by like uh, next month I think by next month we're gonna have five closings already, which is super cool. So we appreciate everybody who has bought some houses through that because it helps us out. Uh, you know, we actually get some commission on it, but also because we are registered as and licensed sales agents, but we also get to help you find the best real estate team, and that is something that um, our um, people take really, really seriously. So yeah, anyway, yes, I've got the quality up all the way. Thanks, Tiki Man fan. Howdy from San Antonio, looks looks like uh, slightly wet, but beautiful Disney night, awesome. I did find the spider webs there. I guess nobody's walked that way for a minute. I got the half, uh, half staff flags here. And Epcot Forever says, can't wait to move to Florida. Look at this. Gorgeous. It's almost surreal. Watch this. One of the best views of the dolphin coming right up. Isn't that breathtaking? The Dolphin is a breathtaking building. Truly, truly, truly is. I don't know why they put that Swan Reserve in there. It doesn't really fit, but hey, that's pr that's pretty. Oh, yeah. So nice. And I am... Um, Just so happy that the recital went well last night. It was very, uh, you know, just stressful leading up to it. So, very, very uh, glad that it was over and the kids did so good. I'm so proud of all my kids. They're amazing. It looks like a big city. Yeah, it does. All right, let's go in there. And it's going to take a while to get in there. We can't just go across the water there, obviously. Well, we could, but we'd get wet and probably get in trouble both. So, let's walk over around the other way. This boardwalk. Very mixed feelings about the Dolphin. It is a very nice hotel, but it was odd being in a non-Disney hotel. Great stay, though. Yes, yes, that's true. It is true. I, I was really surprised by that. If they were Disney hotels, I think it'd be different. But And they very easily could be. It's not like there's any difference here. I don't think the fountains in the top of those have been... I don't think the fountains in the top of those shelves have been working for a long time. Am I right about that? Glossy boardwalk with the string lights and the background music. Isn't that perfect? All right. Nothing like a Walt Disney World vacation. We just got back from a non-Disney vacation and all we were talking about was how much better the hotels are there. Nice. Yes, alligators. Not as much in these waters, but you never know. Like I've always said, you have to assume there's alligators in every body of water in Florida. So probably a good idea. Come on, this is a fun bar. Cool. Yeah. We have enjoyed, really enjoyed our swan dolphin vacation. It's nice here. There you 
go. Yeah, you see those, you see the fountains up there? I don't think those have worked for a while. At least I didn't notice them if they did. What's even cooler though is the shells that lead down into each other. So let me do that and then we'll go back towards Epcot so we can make sure we get back in for Epcot forever. But we're wandering. I may take a boat back, we'll see. We shall see. Or I might just walk. I don't know. I kind of do like walking. It's just so peaceful out here. There's hardly anybody out. Everybody's in the parks. And uh, such a nice walk. Jump on the boat like in the movies. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would be a bad plan. If you knowing me, I'd fall right off. There wouldn't be any, there wouldn't be any question about it. Went from a wonderful stream with Jenna to a wandering stream with Josh. That's right. <laughs> wonderful and wandering. Simply the best. As long as you don't copyright me, you can be the best. I'm oh, just kidding. I'll, <laughs> I'll just dispute it. So go ahead and try. <laughs> Look at that. Such a great view here. This is a good song though. The song commentary. <laughs> Such an imposing space. I believe it's 25 stories if I'm not mistaken. To the very top of the penthouse up there. If you fell in at least your shoes would say that. That's cool, that's true. You're right. Yeah, it's a very impressive place. If Disney bought the dolphin, they'd probably paint the giant triangle as Phineas has said. Ah, <laughs> that would be pretty funny, actually. Thanks, Phil. Yes, yeah, song commentary. <laughs> so these little shells, you can't really see it, but these little shells come all the way down to the main shell and the main fountain. It's really cool. Right here. Look at that. Whoop. The names on the back of the chairs. That's what I thought, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to move them. I felt weird about that. But yes, Mara was telling me what they were earlier, so that's pretty cool. So my creepy chair video has 400 views now, almost 500. Yep. R.I.P. Tina. Look at that. Very larger than life for sure. Do you like Port Orleans, Port Orleans Riverside? Yeah, we used to stay there a lot. I love Port Orleans Riverside. Love, love, love. A dolphin, dolphin fish, by the way. A lot of people are like, that's not a dolphin. Yep, they're dolphin fish. They have these giant revolving doors here, which are super fun, so we gotta, we gotta do that. Easier if you're by yourself, of course, but gotta be kind of careful. All right, here we go. Oh, man. There's some resistance there. Oof. It's a beautiful view walking up. It sure is, Ron. <laughs> it's a nice one. Thanks for being here, Ron. I was like, Ron, are you still alive? Yep, you are. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Thank you for joining us while you're live. <laughs> okay, let's take this down a little bit. There we go. Luzu is quite good. It's really neat. Uh, it's really neat approach there. Rosa Mexicano and the fountain here. All right, let's go ahead and take the take the escalator here. Could you imagine owning a Disney resort? No, I really couldn't. The water and that giant chandelier there. <clears throat> the 
this is really cool. That looks fun. Wow, that's a whole thing. Look, it's R something. <laughs> it's R2, you're gonna see in better days. <laughs> That's awesome, Ron. Okay. Yeah, it is an amazing view. My favorite one, though, Ron, is from across the... Uh, the little uh, river there so cool but yeah this resort is crazy cool and they redid the the lobby in here it's so fun check for resort fees yes there are resort fees in a lot of these places so check that out for sure it's a neat little bar area and stuff kind of reminds me of like a giant airport concourse honestly like the orlando concourses are kind of this roundish shape a lot of times so that's fun Call Ron Roz. <laughs> Roz on the go. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you're flying in for a conference at Swan and Dolphin. You're going to love it. That is just awesome. Yeah, you can't, definitely can't. Uh, here, we got a, we got a widescreen. Definitely can't go wrong with that. It does kind of look like a jellyfish, yeah. You guys are right about that. You guys are absolutely right about that. I don't know, it's just so cool. Lots of conventions, for sure. Alright, well I think we're going to head back down here in a second. Really neat place, for sure. Robert says, I know I can't afford that place, but it is nice. Yes, for sure. It's really, really fun. Yeah, bus transportation this way, apparently. Central elevators, west elevators, all the things. Oh, there's like a giant shop in here. That's fun. So fuel is like their little bar thing in here. Hear the bathroom calling you. <laughs> this is really cool. It's like a market. I mean, use this uh, Shula's Steakhouse for printing on actual, actual footballs. Look at that candy. The night gives it a totally different vibe. I agree. I agree. I'm going to keep the wide angle on for a minute. I think it works really well inside. What do you guys think? I hope you guys don't mind. This is cool, though. Look at this. I've never been down this far before. Disney gifts and sundries. Of course. Okay, we're back. I don't know when I lost you guys. Okay, like I said, I've got this place, which is kind of like regular merch and stuff. <laughs> now we've got this place over here, which is like the Disney stuff. Back and clear, thank you guys. Yeah. Anyway, super cool. This is all actually an official Disney store. It's pretty fun. Uh -huh. Smile, darn you, smile. So they name the movie that that's from. Yeah, so just all kinds of fun things. You even have magic bands and stuff here. That's fun. <laughs> he got, he's got a dream. Super fun. All right. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Who knew they had a, an official Disney store in there? That's fun. Who knew? 
I don't know why it just died. Yep, Roger Rabbit, you got it, Tara. Shopping with Josh, I know. Not that good, but you know, it's all right. I do my best. That's my best shopping. I'm just kidding, it wasn't. I've done better shopping before. All right, how fun. The rates are so much better than the same Mobile Disney Resort. Stayed there last April, nice. It's a huge place. They've got that going for them. And again, look at that. Kimonos, that's cool. I didn't see a giant Mickey this time. <laughs> True. All right, guys. I think we're going to head back over to Epcot. I really do enjoy this. Lobby is fun. I like it. Keep the wide angle on for a few more minutes. This is the uh, Walt Disney World Dolphin. Oh, and if you wondered, here, we go down by Shoeless. Hubert car carpet in the lobby. I must have missed it. So here's the way to Shula's. Oh my goodness, it smells good. Oh, look at this. I feel you set a goal to be your best and then you work every waking hour of each day trying to achieve that goal. The ultimate goal is victory. If you refuse to work as hard as you possibly can toward that aim, or if you do anything that keeps you from achieving that goal, then you are just cheating yourself. I feel that way about athletics, but more importantly, I feel that way about life in general. Interesting. There he is. From now, uh, from the beginning of the NFL in 1920 to now, this is still the only com the only team to play a complete perfect season. Yep. Football is a game of errors. The team that makes the fewest errors in the game usually wins. It's kind of true of music, too. Not necessarily winning, but just, you know, whoever... Here, let's put this back on regular. Whoever uh, whoever plays the fewest, you know, errors on their music usually sounds the best as long as they play with passion. So, yeah, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but pretty cool. When it, he runs two consecutive Super Bowls there. Pretty cool. It's awesome. Every year when somebody, what was it, the, the Patriots got all the way to the end and then they got beat by the Giants. And it, like that was a big deal because it was like they said, you know, every year when like the, the first the first undefeated team gets, uh, or the last undefeated team gets beat, they're like, oh, the 72 Dolphins are cracking the champagne. <laughs> that was a whole big thing. Anyway, that's pretty neat. It's an accomplishment for sure. I don't know. Like, I guess to them, I guess it is worth, like, devoting that much of your life to that. But, you know, that's my only thing that I think about. Like, wow, that's a lot of your life to devote to something. But if that's what's important to you, I am. More power to you. Hello, Hannah. Of course, we got Punk, Funk, and Junk, our newest mopper. <laughs> I know you've been here the whole time. I just hadn't really said hi yet. Got experience um, moderating on uh, several different streams, um, so it's pretty cool. Seventy-two Dolphins were very excited when the Giants beat the Patriots in Super Bowl. Absolutely, and that was it. That's all it took. It's just that's so hard to do. You cannot have a bad day. Uh, so impressive that they did that. It, it may never be duplicated. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Punk Funk and Junk comes to us from the, uh, um, it's like uh, online, uh, the YouTube, uh, um, basically YouTube like shopping community. So, this is moderating streams and that. That's pretty cool. But has been watching us for a while too. So, okay, you, you, uh, 
you can go this way and you can get there but it takes a lot longer and I'll show you I'll show you how it's kind of like the Bulls when they won 80 plus games in the championships yeah exactly Reminds me of Chicago, those beautiful fountains right on Lake Michigan. Yes, I love Chicago. So you see now why it's hard harder to get there. There's two of these little inlets like this and it makes it much, much longer. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go around the other way. I like the view from there anyway. So let's head back to Epcot. Uh, looks like the boat is coming. We could take the boat. Or we could walk. What do you guys want to do? Seventy-two and ten. Wow. Yeah, nobody's ever going to do it. Nobody's ever going to have a perfect season in, in uh, basketball or baseball because it's just too many games. Football is is you know not I won't say easier, but it's definitely more achievable when there's only sixteen games. You can do that. Nobody's going to win eighty games or ninety in a row. We're Giants fans, haven't had much to celebrate lately, but we did beat the pants past in two Super Bowls. That, hey, that's a, that's, a, that's a thing. That's really something to be proud of. You guys are taking the boat? Okay. Well, here we go. Let's see if I can get down here. Yeah, they're just now letting everybody off, so we've got Epcot right here. boat's covered yeah and it's not really raining right now but you know what we'll still get great views on the boat we'll just have to stop at a few places but we got enough time to get there Whew. guys so we walk need to get more steps in you yeah, let's ride. Let's ride. I probably could get more. Uh, probably could use more steps too. But all right, I'll be all right. Thank you. So it's gonna get loud a little bit, but that's okay. Enjoy. Great news.
Wilderness Lodge. It's got the best lobby now for Animal Kingdom. I don't know. here and walk the rest of the way. How about that? To walk the rest of the way. So they're going to go back to World War. Yeah, let's walk from here. I have to send that out my BRB working out to pause the stream to go through. Have a good night. Watch the Thank you. Talk. To go through um, security. So stay tuned for that. Yes. Exhaling for the first time. Yes. It is awesome when you can exhale after a rough day. I'm exhaling after a rough season. <laughs> There's been so many rough seasons in life lately, and honestly, things are getting better. Things are getting a lot better for us. Last year was very hard. I lost my, um, you know, lost our dog, um, almost lost my friend, and then he had to move away. And then, uh, you know, huge financial issues with the, the identity theft. You can kind of see Magic Kingdom fireworks in the sky there. And then, uh, you know, Kind of continued financial stuff going on that makes it hard to do stuff and uh you know not being able to teach band anymore which i thought was a bad thing but ended up giving me more time um so yeah but then things are now starting to turn around a little bit and i like it hi lily's life on our way to the light that's right leslie yes you are you're on your way we are on our way Hey, Noel. <laughs> and of course, mom is here. Hi, mom. <laughs> I know I said it on the boat, but hopefully, I don't know if you could hear me or not. But yes, I'm glad. Glad things are getting better, too. So. Hey, cardboard box. So, yeah. Um, anyway. It is what it is. But you guys have been so helpful through the whole thing, just being supportive. Thanks, Max. Appreciate it. On the upswing, that's right. Mm 
we'll get there. Still got a long way to go, but we'll get there. So sorry you had a hard year. This stream, um, this stream tonight, you've been around all the places that I call home. Thank you so much, Josh, for taking the time to brighten so many days. Thanks, Mystic Disney. I'm so glad to be here. I'm gonna be doing this for you guys. Hey, Petra, hey, cheap traveler, Javier. It's like the dude says, strikes and gutters, gutters and strikes. That's right. That's right, David. Absolutely. Thanks, Emmanuel. Oh, no, I am. I am uh, still a music teacher. I just don't teach band anymore except for jazz band. So because of my, my role kind of changed more into leadership, which is cool. I mean, it's a, it's a recognition of what I do. But, uh, and we had the recital last night, and that was kind of part of my job as IB Music, so it was the IB Music recital. Really important, because it determines whether they, you know, pass the class or not, so they did such a great job. Really appreciate all you do. Thank you, Hoya Mickey. She makes a lot of people feel better. Thank you. I think a lot of people just, you know, it's like, I don't talk about it that much, but it, I, a lot of people just don't understand. You know, and it's okay because I don't want to like dwell on it, but it's been hard. That's why sometimes, you know, especially in the last year or so, I react pretty strongly when some, I feel like somebody's being rude or something like that. You know, whether it be in the chat or in person or, you know, whatever else, I, I have a pretty strong reaction because my tolerance up to now has been pretty low. Well, then I almost well, <laughs> almost had a heart attack, which was it turned out to be an anxiety attack. That was in March. That was rough. Thanks, Laura. No, I'm just, I'm, I, I'm doing more leadership, so I'm just teaching uh, Ivy Music and guitar right now. So, but it's good, because like I said, I've gotten to see the leadership side of things a little bit more, and it's been really interesting. And I've had more time, so. People crave connection, and this community delivers. Absolutely. They do. But either way, like, if you're wondering, like, what's wrong with Josh? Well, it's just been really tough, and I just, I have, I have learned this year that even though, you know, we want to stream and we need to stream and we, we really just, like, we, we need it, you know, in several ways, in more ways than one, you know, it's like I um, sometimes prove that I'm not a robot <laughs> and that, you know, sometimes my emotions get the better of me. Missy says, I couldn't imagine having my students perform. Yeah, no, Missy, it's nerve wracking for sure. Because I know if they don't do well, they're going to be talking to me the next day. But, you know, we make sure we're prepared. So. Yeah, Mystic Disney for sure. Hope it gives you some balance so you can do more what you love. Thank you. Hey, Journey, been there by myself. Yeah, for sure. No heart attacks. That's right, Roger. Well, I'm taking some more medicine to help calm help keep me calmer and uh, things, you know, calm down. I mean, because I was, um, my friend who was, you know, was out of out of work for so long, like I was doing his job, half of his job, and my colleague was doing the other half. And so we were really pushing it last year. And we did it. We're a great team. We got it done. But man, it was a lot. So I'm just kind of like realizing, like, now that I don't have all that stress anymore, I'm kind of realizing how much it was. You know, it's like, you're outside and it's really, 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 really hot. And you're like, it's kind of hot. You know it's hot, but then you go inside and it's cool and you're like, oh, it was like really hot. So now it's kind of like the opposite. Like, it's kind of like stress. It was like, you know, I'm, I'm under stress. And then it's like, now that I'm not as much, I'm like, oh, that was a lot of stress. I had a change in work responsibilities one time. Years ago, my mentor said to me, less headaches, same pay, more free time. Sounds like, sounds like neutral to positive. <laughs> That's true, David, for sure. Yeah, Robert. Uh, you're right, Robert. Yeah, the, the identity thing's rough, but you just got to keep track of it. Luckily, we have a monitoring service, but yeah, it was hard. It's hard to realize how much you're going through at a given time. Yeah, it's, 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 I think it's a pretty decent analogy. I'm usually pretty decent at coming up with those, but like that one I just thought of just now. Anyway, like I said, it's just, there's just been a lot of things, and I definitely can't add anything else to my plate at this point but I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep myself protected from a lot of this stuff
I stream a lot this week. Yes, Jenna, Jenna has. I've only streamed, you know, just uh, just once so far. Um, and I won't be streaming uh, Friday, so you won't see me again until Sunday. Um, and again, remember, if you missed it earlier, I am I am streaming um, on Sunday this week because my friend's going to be here Friday and Saturday, so I want to spend time with him. And then I will stream on Sunday, and I don't have to go uh, to work on Monday. I have the day off. What doesn't kill you make you stronger. Yep, that's right. You're a good person. You bring so much beauty to so many. Don't you worry for a minute about how you show up here. This is home for you two. Uh, you show up as you, and it's all good. Thank you. You continue to take care of yourself. Thanks, Bubba's World. Yeah, for sure. Went from being a music major to a accompanist, only for similar pay, right? Way less stress. There you go. That's right, Ryan. I'm glad you got to spend time with your friend this weekend. Yes, it's going to be great. And I've kind of started to set limits for myself and for other people around me, too. You know, I, I don't mean my family, obviously. You know, they, they you know, I, my family, I'm all in for them all the time. And I know what, you know, it might not seem that way sometimes when I'm gone, but, uh, you know, when I'm, when I'm home and when I'm with Liam every day, you know, whatever, it's, I'm, I'm all in all the time. But I definitely put, I definitely put in boundaries on some other things and it's really helped. Appreciate you being vocal about your strengths. Mental health is nothing we should ever be afraid of. Yeah, thanks, Sydney. Yeah, that's the hardest part is, you know, I, like, I feel like I always need to please everybody. And I finally realized I can't and don't even really want to anymore. And I was always worried about somebody being upset about this or that. And I don't worry about that anymore. So it's been really, really freeing. <laughs> because you got to realize, you got to figure like somebody's going to be mad at you no matter what you do. So you just have to do what you think is right. Follow your heart and do what's best for your family. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> All of you are such genuine people. Oh, for sure. Denise, and you guys all are too. The whole community, not just the, those of us on the camera, but all of you are. Boundaries are essential, hard to keep as a fellow people pleaser. Yes, for sure. Your friend, your friend, and you come, yep, comes and you relax. Yep, for sure. Had some tough times being out of the classroom made me see things differently. That's awesome, Journey. All right, I am going to pause real quick and I will be back in just a minute, guys. I do not have BRB right now because I didn't set, I didn't get the settings right on the server, but that's okay. So I don't want to mess with it now because we're almost done. So we'll do a ground stream and then I'll pause it for a second. This is intentional lag. You can carry some people's water, but you can't carry everybody's water. Yeah, for sure, for sure. topic is favorite Walt Disney World snack okay there we go David I like it that's a good that's a good it's a good topic it reminds me of like um, here's, here's the, the skyliner here it reminds me of um, Saturday Night Live when they'd be like uh, chat amongst yourselves topic yeah anyway all right oh thanks Alex I appreciate that that's very kind all right I'll be right back And we're back. Thank you. The Partridge family were neither Partridges nor a family. Discuss. Yeah, Leslie, I love that. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that they would put up there on that Saturday Night Live stuff. It was so fun. There's a Braille map over here. There's also one in the, uh, um, kind of in this little, there's also one right here across from Odyssey. <sighs> this is just how I feel all the time. Oh, Petra, yeah, I'm okay. Like I said, I was just going through a difficult season and just kind of realizing, I don't know, I was just kind of realizing today, like, even even this year already so far, the recital was a huge weight um, lifted off. And I'm just kind of, like, because that was last night, that's why I didn't stream last night, but I was just kind of realizing, like, how much pressure and how much weight I was carrying. And, you know, I, I mean, sort of, I mean, you know, sort of physically, but I mostly mean, you know, um, figuratively. This is cool. I love the, the Donald and Daisy thing. That neat. So yeah, tune in late to the stream. So probably already talked about how geeked are we about all day park hopping. Sydney, so, so excited. We're going to be able to do the four park streams again together. Jen and I have been doing the four parks. I mean, we could do it together anyway, but we, we've been, Jen and I have been doing the four park streams 
uh, separately because we can we can hit more parks more easily. Well, we may still do some of that because there's a benefit to that. Not that we don't want to be together, of course, but it's just that we can show you more because while one of us is doing doing a ride, the other one can be waiting in line, and that's kind of what we do when Brit streams. When we do the coast to coast streams, are super fun. Rhode Island is neither a road nor an island. Discuss. Here's another one. You park on a driveway and drive on a parkway. Discuss. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. That's a good change. I mean, I know that the prices went up too, so that's that's definitely a, you know, that's a negative for sure. But with prices going up, also comes um, you know, also comes the park hopping coming back. So that's cool. Love those that's an else gets. Yeah, for sure. Huh. What time is it? You'll pe more people you know with these streams, Josh. It's great that we can get out and walk around and relax, but it's great that you can get out, walk around and relax, but we're also helping very others relax as well. Very much appreciated. Thanks, Dan. I do appreciate that. How about this one? Why does your nose run and your feet smell? <laughs> Disgust. I know, right? All right, so let's see something here. So beautiful. I was gonna say I don't. I was just kind of looking to see if I could do a um, see if I could do a ride or something. I don't know what I want to do though. We've got we've got a little bit of time. Maybe I'll just stroll a little bit. I don't know. We don't really have time for anything like involved, like living with the land. We're too far from the seas. Soren's twenty minutes. That's that's questionable. So yeah, we'll just walk. We could do Grand Fiesta, but I don't know. I cannot give you the formula for success, success, but I can give you the formula for failure, which is try to please everybody. Yes. So true. Let's go this way. <laughs> we could do Grand Fiesta. Yeah, I guess we'll go this way just in case we can. We have time for it. We'll see what, we'll see what time we get over there. I'm a bit far from the ocean. Yes, we are. We are a little far from the ocean. So again, stay tuned tonight. We have a, um, a Retro TV One Tech premiere. Right after this, it's only nine minutes long. We're going to see how long some 27-year-old laptop batteries last. Speaking of which, apparently I um, they rejected my offer. <laughs> so I did not get that that laptop that I put in the offer on. That's all right. I might might check it again later. Obviously, he wants more than what I was going to give him, so it might be too expensive at this point. That's all right. Keep watching. It's funny how those old computers are so valuable now. I agree. Your live streams are so relaxing to many. Thanks for always showing up for us. Hopefully some of the stress you've been carrying around can be lifted by walking around with us. Thank you. Yes, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, you guys are, why are M&M's, these are deep thoughts, right? Why are M&M's shaped like O's? Should be called O and O's? <laughs> Is it called sand because it touches land and sea? Thank you for listening to my TED talk. I love it, I love it, Karina, or, Karina, Tanina, sorry. I, I, I looked at your name, said Tanina, and then my mouth said Karina. I'm sorry, Tanina, <laughs> my bad. Please, have a 
world travelers. In just 30 minutes, the Epcot family will proudly present Epcot Forever, an amazing celebration of Epcot's yesterday and tomorrow. This incredible fireworks spectacular can be experienced from all around the World Showcase Lagoon. Due to lower light levels around the World Showcase, please watch your step and kids, take your parents by the hand. We also ask for your safety and for that of others that you please remain on the prominent side of all railings during the show. Thank you for your cooperation. Yep. Get ready, because tonight's performance of Epcot Forever will begin in just 30 minutes. Yes, because if you don't stay on the promenade side of things, um, you might actually end up riding the fireworks, like I always say. Why is there yelling? <laughs> so, somebody was asking if I didn't go in Swan and Swan Reserve. Nope, just went in the Dolphin tonight. Yeah, I don't know. It was no really plan. I just kind of like, I was in the Dolphin. I was like, I want to go back to Epcot. So I did. As a wandering stream tonight. Oh, thanks, Kelly. JC says, why can't we ride the fireworks? <laughs> that might hurt. <laughs> We're enjoying the stream, and I love the comments tonight. This is an incredible community. It is, Kevin. It absolutely is. Why'd they stop the acker? I don't know. All right. Hey, we'll see if we can get on Grand Fiesta, if we can make it over there in time. We just need to find a quick little fireworks spot. Who wander are never lost. That's right. Let's go get our spaceship Earth view over here. Let's try this real quick. I usually watch them by Future World. Sometimes I watch them over in Germany. So we'll see. Jim says walk the fireworks. That's always so cool. We'll see. I kind of I'm kind of feeling watching them in place tonight actually. Especially with it being slippery, I don't want to. I don't want to slip if I'm not paying attention. But yeah, I, normally that's fun for sure. Maybe another time. Yeah, thanks for the thanks for the suggestion. Evening made a shocking achievement uh, at the arcade on DDR. That's awesome, Mr. Master. Glad you had a fun night. Rain's not bad there. We're getting a good slow soak. Okay, cool. Yeah, we definitely didn't get that much. Just a couple little uh, showers, and it's it's through now. It's actually more humid than it was. The the um, wind was blowing. It was kind of um, it was kind of chilly. Not chilly. It was just like a cooler wind. But now it's warmer. I don't think it's a pickle milkshake kind of night. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <sighs> 
All right. Go see some. Let's go see some birds about some uh, other birds. <laughs> let's go see a couple birds about a lost bird that we need to find. Hi, how are you? Mm. That's awesome. Yeah, for sure. Hi, in like 30 seconds, you're going to see me. <laughs> What's your name? Matt. Nice to meet you, Matt. Nice to meet you. Got quite the lens there on that thing. Yeah, I was trying to do a spaceship bird for the monorail, but then the lights blinked off right at the monorail. <laughs> no good. I'll have to wait for 15 minutes. Yes. That's awesome. Well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your night. Plasma music. We have commentary <laughs> about the music, which is very klezmerish. David said, you know, people who liked it, but were kind of confused. Yeah, I know, right? This is a very catchy song. It isn't very long. I just, I don't really want to try it. And I like pickles and I like milkshakes. I don't know that I want them together. <laughs> I love the little tuba. They put the tuba in there just for effect. I, I really enjoy our Epcot strolls, guys. Whew. So much fun. Corey was not impressed, okay. Ah. I feel like I'm a little tilty tonight. The gimbal's tilty. Let me, let me re, re gimbal it real quick. That's better. This is Lath from Michigan. How many teams do you have? Because my wife and I just watched you from Magic Kingdom. Uh, so that's not me in Magic Kingdom. That's gotta be maybe Ron or somebody else, but um, he has his own channel. A lot of streamers have their own channels. The, the only one we had today, the only other stream we had today was uh, my sister Jenna, uh, who does the channel along with me. She's my, she's my awesome sister and partner in this channel. And uh, we do, she did a stream at, um, Universal earlier today. So yeah. So super fun. Alright. Yes, all day park hopping is back almost. I might need to um, re uh, calibrate the gimbal, but we'll be alright. Donde está Donald? We were learning about IB music. We were learning about uh, um, mariachi music. And we talked about uh, quinceañeras and how important that is in the Mexican and some Latin American cultures. Uh, one, can I wait for the front? Okay, perfect. Walk on. Anyway, so we were, we were listening to a couple quinceañera songs from mariachi. It was pretty cool. <laughs> Gimbal might have snuck a margarita, maybe. All right, enjoy, guys. I'm always quiet on rides, mostly. Bienvenidos. For your safety, you may consider keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. And if you have children, please watch. Get out. 
Bienvenidos. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies
Mexico and come again soon. Be ready to your amigos. Remember to stay at the door until the boat reaches the dock. Then gather your belongings and get it to the right. An empty boat up there. <clears throat> oh, I agree. Disney doesn't need like Panchito and three couple euros merch. We do have Mariachi Donald, which is cool. Hi, Colin. Hi, Ginger. All right, let's go. Get our firework view. Here we go. There's Panchito. Okay. Let everybody else go. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. <laughs> did she see you on the stream? She did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, David, this is uh, Quinceañera is coming up next year. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Well, obviously you have to send lots of pictures because we, we definitely want to see the occasion. Are you guys hiring? Are you guys hiring a mariachi band? I don't know. I know that's like I know not every um, not every family does that, but I know it's a, it is common for some families. So I'm curious. Like I said, we were stu we were literally studying it earlier today, and just the music and the culture that goes with it. It's so cool. Very 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 awesome. So this place is so beautiful, and hardly anybody's in here. Yes. Oh, you'll be watching the fireworks in person. Nice. Tom what you said tomorrow? Wow. Awesome. Hi, Matthew. My husband got a gimbal and it works great. He doesn't plan on doing any, stream any streaming, just plan on making good videos and stills. His name is Ron. That's cool. What do you think is the best option for someone who is looking to become a Florida pass holder? Uh, it depends on how much you want to go. I think the Sorcerer Pass is a great option because you'd only miss two weeks in December and two weeks in... Um, Two weeks in December and two weeks in um, in April. So you're only missing four weeks a year, and it's a lot. It's like four hundred dollars cheaper. Um, so yeah, there's lots of great options for Florida residents. That's one of the best ones, I think. If you don't like just really want to go during that time, it's a great option. Now, if you do want to go during that time, then obviously you'll need the uh, credit pass. David said we may do mariachi. Not sure what she wants. Yeah, that's right. Got to see what she wants. Totally understand that. So I'm gonna head over probably to Germany and actually see our uh, our regular fireworks view over there. I sometimes watch in the middle there, but I have more time tonight because I don't have to be at work. I have a work day, teacher work day tomorrow, so I don't have to be at work until eight. So that's kind of nice. But I don't have to get up quite as early. Normally I'm supposed to be at work at 7.15, so we get a little extra 45 minutes. I get to sleep 45 minutes extra. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it's a lot. I just love being able to walk around Disney World with you guys. It's amazing. Thank you for being here. Oh, but I also have to thank our awesome sponsors. Uh, I always forget. Hello, so, Epcot World Travelers. Right after this lady's done. The Epcot family is proud to welcome you to World Showcase Lagoon. And in just 10 minutes, the sky will sparkle with colorful illuminations. Come enjoy the magic of the Epcot Lagoon with your family and friends. Come enjoy the magic of the Epcot Lagoon with your family and friends. Come enjoy the magic of the Epcot Lagoon with your family and friends. Come enjoy the magic of the Epcot Lagoon Please watch your step. And kids, take your parents by the hand. Get ready, because tonight's performance of Epcot Forever will begin in just 10 minutes. Thank you.
Can you climb the steps of the pyramid? Nope, not supposed to. There's a big sign right next to this, right next to it that says do not climb. There's well, actually a guy that tried to do that when he'd had a little bit too much uh, wine, <laughs> a little bit too much alcohol, and um, so that was, um, they put the sign up right after that. So yes, no climbing the pyramid. You will definitely get asked to leave the park, especially when there's a giant sign right next to it. Well, now they can definitely kick people out because there's a sign, like, so you can't say I didn't know because it's a sign there. I guess if technically, I guess if you didn't read English, if you were here on vacation, but most people I think would just still know like as a common sense like type of thing. That probably this doesn't look like I should climb it. 45 minutes could be a whole rim cycle. There you go, Ginger. Anyway, so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a retro TV one tech premiere. I haven't had a video on that for a while. I've got a couple more in the works. Um, so, but this one was easy to make. I just tested uh, a couple of my um, my laptops. I have some Toshiba Tecra. What they call 500 CDTs. They were some of the some of the first the first professional laptops that Toshiba made back in '96. Like they were the first Tecras, and they they still made Tecras just up until a few years ago. So, but anyway, um, they're from 1996, they're 27 years old, and uh, we want to see how long the battery lasts in them, and it's only a nine minute video. They last more than nine minutes, spoiler alert, but yeah. Oh yeah, the behind the stream. Also, if you haven't watched our behind the stream video, definitely check that out as well. We also want to talk about, um, we want to talk about Davis DVC rentals. If you want to rent a DVC room for a fraction of the cost, we were just in the uh, some of the DVC resorts there. We were in... Uh, Beach Club DVC, definitely check out Davis DVC Rentals at dvcrequest.com slash TV. Davis DVC Rentals, dvcrequest.com slash TV. It is so not crowded here right now. I feel like I'm half by myself up here. Yeah, Davis DVC Rentals, guys. dvcrequest.com slash TV. Also, Magic Band Readers. If you want to get your very own Magic Band Reader for your home, definitely check out magicbandreaders.com and use code RESORT15 for 15% off your purchase. MagicBandReaders.com. Use code Resort15 for 15% off your purchase. Oh, and I forgot to mention that Grand Fiesta Tour music is so 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 catchy. It's like I don't know. It gets stuck in your head. I love it. So, and also there you go. That counts as commentary on the music. Crowd love is looking finally looking a little lower. Yeah, it's a Wednesday night, but and it did rain. But wow. It just does. I mean, I, I all night I felt like I'm kind of by myself. Uh, what am I hoping it to? I'm going to Germany, one of my favorite spots. And then we'll just go, and then we'll just finish the lap around World Showcase because I could use the exercise anyway. Maybe I'll stop at the Epcot shop too to see if my uh, to see if my uh, Epcot shirt is in. We'll see. Are there going to be fireworks? Yes, there are. No better place at Disney than Disney at night, especially Epcot. Yes. Scuba Steve's here. Emmanuel's here. Lynn Robinson. I mean, look at this. There's just room everywhere. And there might be people in our spot, and that's okay. We'll find a spot where we can get next to somebody or behind somebody. Yep, fireworks in six minutes. We're going to make it. And got some good exercise doing it. I like it. Oh, yeah, there's room over there. Shopping with Josh. That's right. I just realized after the recital last night how lucky I am to work with all these people. Oh, my gosh, that announcement happens every time. There's too many announcements. Spectacular <laughs> celebration of everything Epcot. In just a few minutes, the World Showcase Lagoon will burst with color and light as we journey through Epcot's past and leap into its exciting future. Because of lower light levels during the show, we ask that you please watch your step and kids take your parents by the hand. Tonight's performance of Epcot Forever will begin shortly. Thank you. All right, five minutes, guys. I did it, Streambinder. 
everybody check out www.streamfinder.com, guys. All the best Disney streams over there. Hey, Vinny. Hey, Jeffrey. I, I don't know why it's so quiet. It's really awesome. Hardly anybody here. Love it. I said walking around the resorts a minute ago, there was nobody else there. That was awesome. Hey, Elizabeth. Cream City says 109 days. I know, it hasn't looked like this in weeks. It was so busy this weekend. It's crazy. Barely made it myself tonight, just in time. I'm glad you made it, Streamfinder. Miss Disney fan, here we go. Only got one last sponsor to talk about. We got Behind the Ride. Guys, if you want to find out how your favorite Disney rides were created, just go check out Behind the Ride on Amazon. That's Behind the Ride on Amazon. You can, while you're checking out all the Prime deals, you can check out Behind the Ride also. Get all the latest facts on how your favorite rides were created. Go check it out. Behind the Ride on Amazon. Hi, Jamie. Aileen says, say hi to my husband, Jamie. 5.30 a.m. from NOLA, and you'll be at Epcot tomorrow. Nice. Enjoy. My boss stayed over at Art of Animation and had a fantastic time beyond what she thought it would be. So glad and she stayed loved Epcot forever. This is great. It's a great show. All right, this is the last song. Hey, Anastasia. Hey, Ollie Roger. Scott's going to be here Tuesday. Awesome. Yep, we're going to be doing a premiere right after. And also check out Jenna's channel, The Adventures of Jenna and Dale. And my channel, Retro TV One Tech, right here on YouTube. Yeah, they usually do this in the rain unless there's lightning, but tonight the rain stopped. Yeah, Journey, I'm very lucky to be able to do this for sure. All right, one minute. Three, four. Uh oh, she just floated the idea of doing her quince at Walt Disney World. Hey, there you go. And she could just go see the mariachi band on her own. That'd be great. Hey, Chad. Yeah, I love this one because it has uh, Walt in it. Yeah, that sphere in Vegas is crazy. Oh, hey, Jeffrey. And hi, Pat. All right, guys, enjoy the show.
experimental, prototype, community of tomorrow. One
there will always be in a state of becoming. It will never cease to be a living blueprint of the future. So good, so good. I might be able to post that as a separate video. That was a really good, really good angle on that. And it was like perfectly quiet, literally. So that was cool. Like everybody around me was super quiet and I was loving it though. I didn't say anything, but I don't know if you heard me say just a second ago, um, the lady uh, next to me, she said, she said, I love that so much it made me happy. And I said, I said, yeah, I said, this, it's a great show. And, uh, but she was like the whole time she was like getting excited and clapping and cheering and I don't know, it was just great. So that was pretty cool. Like she, this lady next to me was just so excited. I, I don't know. I just, I love watching people. I get to watch the show so much. I love watching other people enjoy the show. And she just, you know, she just looked at me, she's clearly by herself and she looked at me and she was like, that was so good. It made me so happy. And I was like, wow, how cool is that? Like. You know, standing next to strangers, enjoying a show together. How about that? It's pretty fun. And the audio was really good. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm i going to miss that show a lot. And, you know, I, like I said, I know, again, no disrespect to any of the other shows. Illumination and Harmonious were amazing. But that show just holds such a great, special place in my heart because it's the music I grew up with in this park. It's the history of the whole park. It's just so good. Like, and, and the fact that they, it's not just like they took it off a CD and said, cool, that's good enough. And they could have very easily done that. And people still would have been happy. If they had done that, people would have been like, oh my gosh, it's amazing, Horizons, right? We still would have loved it. But they rearranged the whole thing and they weaved together like magic journeys and all these different like things and people never would have thought of doing it that way, but they did it and it's so good. The audio was cr terrific on the headphones. Yes, happiness can be contagious, it can. Great show, you can hear all the music and the fireworks. Good, yeah, I may have to post that later as a, as a separate video. We need to do more of that. I have a lot of channels that I follow um, that have a separate channel just to post clips from their live streams. I don't know, we may have to do that. I don't know, I'll think about it. I don't need another channel to keep up with, that's the problem. Like, I need somebody else to clip out the stuff and post it. <laughs> but anyway, no, I'm not, I'm not like saying I want somebody to go do that because um, certainly don't certainly don't have the ability to pay anybody. <laughs> but. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'd like to do that because I feel like there's a lot of stuff when you have a four hour stream or a six hour stream or a nine hour stream, there's a lot of little moments that get missed. And I watched it like, again, one of my favorite text, tech, uh, channels, uh, Linus Tech Tips. He does, he has a, uh, like a WAN show. They do this, uh, thing and it's like a live stream every Friday night and, uh, they take clips out of it and post it on a separate channel. And it's really cool because it's like important things that they talked about or discussed or whatever. I wish I could do that. Anyway, I don't know. Sorry, I just, I, I'm not paying attention to the chat. I'm just talking. I volunteer as tribute. I love it. <laughs> I'm friends with everyone now while I'm there. That's right, Cream City. You are. It's so cool. It's bonding over Disney. And, you know, what's funny is I was worried, you know, you stand next to somebody and I was worried, oh, you know, she might be annoyed with me because I'm like talking before the show. But no, it's the exact opposite. She just like enjoyed the show. Thanks, Melissa. How could you top Harmonious? I don't know, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. 
They did great with Harmonious. They did great with Epcot Forever. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I do hope they bring it back too. Ugh, it just makes me so happy. I love watching people visit for the first time. Yes, for sure. Uh, Marcella, $4.99. Josh, I totally appreciate your positive attitude and enthusiasm and kindness for others. Thank you, and I can't read. Uh, much needed in this world. Thank you so much, Marcella, and I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. I appreciate that. I appreciate you saying that. I feel it's good for 90% of the show, it's just the whole new world that's a little out of place. You know, I, I agree with you, but I've also gotten used to it, and I like it now. So I didn't, I, at first, the first time, I was like, wait, what? Oh, here, Harmonious is starting. Ready? Live stream highlight reels, that's right. I was, rewind, I was find myself rewinding to watch awesome moments. Yes, I noticed you started a new series yourself, Creepy Chairs. I know. <laughs> We're going to do it. We're going to do it, Stream Finder. We'll see if anybody watches that short. Uh, feel so behind on the streams. Yeah, hey, Carly, no worries. Hey, CM, glad you stopped in real quick. We could call it Resort TV One Quick quick Hits. We could. I was even just thinking Resort TV One Clips. Reminds me when this old lady next to me on Cosmic Rewind was laughing and cheering. It's so great to see. It is. It's so great to see. I know, you know you're going to see grumpy people, of course, because it's hot or something's not going their way or whatever. And I think it's easier for us to find and pick out those people because that's human nature, right? But how cool is it when somebody's just having a blast and they're not afraid to like jump up and down and clap and whatever. And that's what this lady next to me was doing. She was doing it very silently. But like anytime like a certain part of the show came on, like Tapestry Nation came on and she's like hopping up and down and, and clapping very silently. And I was like, it was, but it was cool to see because it's like, oh, she's so excited. So anyway, I liked it. Thank you for these streams. Thank you for your positivity. Absolutely. You will have to teach mom and dad how to clip and post videos. Yeah, they've got enough to do. <laughs> They're trying to enjoy the retirement. I know. That'd be funny. Uh, I've been going to Disney since I was a year old. It's just amazing to see Disney transform over the years. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. I know the first clip I want to see is Collie River. I know. I need to. I also need to post the video of Jenna fighting the Death Eaters. Like, I know she posted some Death Eater stuff Monday, but she had the clip from the stream where she fought the Death Eaters, and that was amazing. I'm not grumpy, I'm sneezy. Oh, sorry. The rain. The Clips channel would be awesome. I'd love bloopers. Yeah, and if we did it right after the stream, we wouldn't forget, like, where the bloopers were and stuff. Uh, good night, Amy. Yep, December 5th is when Luminous premieres. Uh, James, oh my goodness. James, thank you so much. Uh, we've got a $20 here. I can't, I can't let this picture pass me by, even though it's raining now. Uh, there it is, right there. I know my exposure is up too high, but... James H, uh, 1999, wanted to share this and give a super chat. After we parted away Saturday night, a couple approached me to ask who you were. I filled them in and they sat near or next to you on uh, Runaway Railway. It was fun to spread the word. That's awesome, James. Thank you so much for doing that. And thank you for the super chat. Oh, everybody thank James for that. That's so cool. Wait, oh, yeah, she did. She, I mean, like she dueled the Death Eaters, yes. I mean, you know, it was pretend, obviously, but yeah, it was really cool. Okay, hold on. Gotta get the umbrella up. Bam. All right, stay tuned, guys. We have a premiere at 9.45 where I'm gonna find out how long does a 27-year-old laptop battery last. The premiere is only nine minutes, but the laptop batteries do last way longer than that. They last way longer than anybody would think. Okay, here. I won't tell you if you're right or not, but guess. Let's have guesses in the chat how long the batteries will last. Headless Horseman and Headless Sunny Eclipse. Oh my goodness. That might be creepy. I showed my kids the piano player on Main Street that Jenna filmed earlier this week. I would definitely clip that one. Yeah, those are so good. If I tell... If I tell my wife that I'm going to start another channel, I think she'll hurt me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're not. We're probably not going to be able to do that. But one of these days, 37, two hours. Okay. Price is right rules? Uh, no, no rules. Just, just, just guess. We'll see. Nobody's gotten it yet. Some people have gotten close. It's just like pouring. I'm glad I have my umbrella. Thank goodness for umbrellas. My goodness. And I can tell you, remember, it's a it's a 27-year-old laptop, so it's definitely not like six hours or anything, but 50 years, yeah. <laughs> And sorry, I should clarify. I mean, how long does how long does it last on a single charge? 
Well, that's what I'm. That's what I'm going for. One minute. I wish. I wish. I'm glad it's better than that. <laughs> Also, when we do the premiere, there's two computers that are exactly the same. Uh, you have to guess which. You have to guess on the on the premiere, which computer uh, dies first and which one lasts the longest. The one on the left or the one on the right. So you have to see. Some of you are close. Yes, Mother Nature was generous enough to let us wash Epcot forever. I know you'd have your umbrella since I wash your behind the streams. That's right, LFB. And it's supposed to rain quite a bit the next few days. So. We're going to be prepared, just like, uh, you know, in The Lion King. Okay. Again, not a sponsor, but shout out Vessi Shoes. My feet are dry still. Stream Finder says eight, 18 minutes. Getting clips from the stream would be a great idea. I recently watched some performances from older streams. When I saw, when you saw Berlin and Starship, I was replaying it so much. It's good. That's it. So we need to do that. I don't know. We'll see. I, I want people to rewatch the streams too, but... Lots of good guesses, guys. Nobody's gotten it 100% right yet, but some people have gotten very close. Oh, that's interesting, elevators. That's very interesting. Oof! And it's blowing at me. How many charges did those batteries have in the years? I don't know. The fact that they last as long as they did leads me to believe that they didn't have that many charges. There, and I actually bought some new ones, but then I, I should have bought more. I found a website that was selling batteries for those old computers at like $6 a pop, and I bought like three. I should have bought more, because you know, if you don't use them, they stay good pretty well. Jazz Trio from Port Orleans would be a winner. Oh, for sure. That was fun. You guys are going to see, you guys remember this stuff better than I do. You guys are gonna have to be the ones that post that stuff. In fact, when we do our, if I do a bloopers video this year, maybe beginning of December, I'll ask everybody, I'll make a post on YouTube, or maybe I'll make a video. I'll make a video, because people see the videos e more easily. Make a video on YouTube and have everybody comment um, their favorite moment of blooper from this year, and I'll post it, and I'll, I'll make a list of things I wanna include. I'm in Northwest Florida, we're having the same weather, okay. I can't, can anybody check the radar? How long is this gonna last here? Or am I just gonna be getting wet all the way out? How have those batteries lasted in some modern phone batteries? Now? I don't know. I guess it's the old saying, they don't make them like they used to. So beautiful, it's just kind of, the rain's a little, kind of pesky at this point. Tons of cool moments. Yes, I agree. I don't think you were streaming in a low latency tonight because there was closed captioning, but you are reading comments within five to seven seconds. That's interesting. Sometimes when I pause the stream, it does that. Like when I pause the stream to uh, because I don't have my BRB tonight. Sometimes it'll sometimes it'll go um, quicker. Like the the latency will go down on its own. I really wish I could use low latency, but I really know a lot of people rely on the captions, so we keep it normal because I really want to make our streams accessible to everybody. And even people that aren't, um, even people that aren't hearing impaired, you know, like to use them because they might not be able to have the sound on sometimes. Stopping about 15, okay. Might be in rain a while. Fun. Makes me regret going all the way around, but hey, you know what? It was a good view. Can always dry off when I get home. It is so pretty. It's very windy though. Makes it harder to hold the umbrella. It becomes a sail. I'm gonna Mary Poppins out of here. I love your thoughtfulness for those. Thank you, Melissa. That's another reason why we ask people not to post like tons of emojis, even though we like that excitement, is that it sometimes messes up uh, people who have uh, 
um, assisted listening devices. Those devices uh, or those 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 modes on the phones don't know how to read, don't know how to skip emojis sometimes. So anyway, that's uh, and then all it, 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 when you have used like all caps, it kind of freaks it out too. So our friends who are vision impaired, like uh, Mike Wheeler, he, they have to rely on that so they can have the chat read to them. I would guess 20 to 24 minutes if they're in MH batteries. Well, if this helps, they're, they're actually lithium ion batteries, believe it or not. They made lithium ion batteries in 90, in 96. Now the computer that David um, gave me actually had NIMH batteries, the NICAD or nickel metal hydride batteries. Are the Vessi sneakers warmer than regular Asics? Uh, a little bit. You can almost tell there's a little bit. All, they're a little bit stiff at first, but you have, to, you have to wear them for a while to get them broken in because they're kind of like a, I don't know. They have a little bit less of a cloth and a little bit more of a rubber feel to them, but uh, once they break in, they're really comfortable. Well, Jenna will be live Friday Night Live, 6, six o'clock as always, and she will make a video and let you know where she's going. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to go this way so I can go in the shop for a second and see if they got any more of those Epcot shirts. I want me an Epcot shirt. Hello, Christian. Oh, I just missed the monorail shot. Oh well, sorry. So pretty. I really do wish they'd do the uh, the, sh the Beacon of Magic shows at night. Hello, Tuesday Watkins. Definitely raining harder. Yes. Hope I don't get too soaked. I know I'm almost there. Nat attack. Hello. I'm gonna fly away. Yep. <laughs> Even with the rain, it's a relaxing walk out. That's awesome, Kelly. Yeah, it is. It's still. It's not that bad. It'd be better if the wind wasn't grabbing my umbrella and I didn't have to hold it so tight, but other than that, pretty cool. <sighs> you missed the live stream. Oh, you can rewind. You can rewind now or later. Hello, Virtual Disney World. Isn't that glow awesome? The way Spaceship Earth reflects on the water, yes. Or Spaceship Beers. <laughs> I don't think he's in here anymore, but does he reflect on the water too? My watch keeps wondering if I'm working out. Nope, I'm just walking a lot. Hopefully this uh, wa all this walking will make up for the fact that I had a Coke tonight for dinner. But I'm not having one on the way out of the park like I used to do. So. And it's not like it's going to be forever. Like, I'm not going out without Coke and cookies forever. I'm just going to get down... Uh, closer to where I, my target weight is and then I'm gonna then I'll I'll try and even out things a little bit still with moderation but I'll still be able to have more things because I'm not trying to lose so so far I've been pretty successful finally got around to watching the boys to men concert it was a lot of fun but I still think cool and Joey Fatone had more of a buzz yeah I don't know I mean I, I, I like I liked all of them I think the Joyce Fatone band is probably the best band I had seen. The boys and men were so cool, especially we got to be up so close. That was fun. But it's just childhood, and not child, well, yeah, childhood memories, you know, for that. I mean, it's just so, so good. All that music is so iconic. Good night, Roger. Discover the magic. Hope to see you in the parks. Nice. Next week, you said? Appreciate your peaceful streams. Glad to hear you'll be able to park hop. Yeah, that's right. Before two, that's gonna be great. Do I uh, like Coke Zero? Not really. For what I understand, the 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 um, you know the the sugar substitute stuff is not great, not good for you. So I know Coke is not good for you in general, but like that stuff's worse from what I've heard. So yeah, I just try to stay away from it. ABC BBD. <laughs> I miss the old white on spaceship Earth sometimes. 
these shows are nice with the lights. Yeah, so this is, by the way, even though it's beacons, even though it's the LEDs, this is the lighting package that they used to have. It's the same colors. Obviously, it's brighter, but yes. It is different still, I'll give you that. But it is the same colors. At least they paid homage to the original lighting pattern with the purple and kind of the orange on the bottom. The gradient. It's a really cool way of doing it. Okay. Let's see if they have more shirts. Now we have 15 minutes. We're going to have a premiere. Um, so 15 minutes, we're going to have a premiere of a video on, on uh, Retro TV One Tech. There we go. So, but it's going to redirect you right over here. So that'll be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, well, and, and the Coke, David, you're probably right. The Coke that I, the regular Coke, unfortunately, is high food cooks corn syrup now the mexican coke is really good it is a regular sugar the only thing about that is it's a glass bottle so it, it is it's good because you get the better flavor but it makes you more nervous about carrying it around sometimes because if you break it it's a big mess you drop a can it's just soda spilled right, let's see if they have any more let's see this is the shirt it looks like small 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 uh can't see extra extra large yeah so that's like not cool okay 3x yep all right well there you go oh well it's a cool shirt though i just wish there was like a medium or large but it's all good Let's come back another day the muppet shirts are cool too i know i want it I'm not going to get one that's the wrong size. A small would look pretty ridiculous on me. <laughs> that's funny, Streamfinder. They'd have a Coke on the counter waiting for me. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, we'll come back for that shirt. Either way, it's a nice shirt. So, clearly clearly popular. All the popular sizes sold out. Media, I, I know this for a fact because medium and large, anytime I uh, did band shirts... <clears throat> Usually small, medium, and large were the ones we never had enough of, so kind of interesting. All right. <clears throat> here, somebody was wanting some merch tour here. I don't know. I'm not doing very well. Kind of tired. And there we go. Yeah, we'll take one more short little lap through here. Because uh, it is raining, so I don't really want to be outside anyway. So that's my shopping excuse. Look, ears. That's cool. <coughs> oh, yeah, Jamie, that would be cool to get it, make a quilt out of it. <coughs> Actually, I think Steph was going to do that for me at some point, or one of her relatives was. I don't know if that ever that ever came, came, to, came to fruition or not. No Christmas merch here. <laughs> That's probably okay. Ow. All right. Umbrella stuff. I keep coming back and hoping that there will be more, but there are not more. Wait a minute. What? Are there more? Wait, how? Okay. Oh, just small. Wait, that's a large right there, but it's wet. Are you talking to a video? It's a live stream. Right. Sometimes I talk to myself too, but this time I wasn't. <laughs> that was all in my ear. Oh yeah, sorry. I saw there was nobody there. <laughs> Who's he talking to? <laughs> How did that just like appear out of nowhere? And how did it get wet? It's the right size, it's just like kind of weird that it's wet. I don't know. Maybe I'll wait. I'm sure they'll have them again. Oh. Somebody else had it? It'll dry. It will. You're right. It'll wash and dry. Okay, fine. 
So the printing is faded exactly the same on each one. Yeah, because I don't think anybody wore it because it's still got the sticker on it. And it's still got the tag on it. All right, fine. Although I, I can't really do that very well with the stream. Actually, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can do mobile checkout. It would fit quite oddly. It was really long like a dress. Interesting. That's weird, it's got this on the back too. Definitely somebody had it, but I guess it was good enough to put back out there. I guess I can wash it. All right, well I do need to uh, start my premiere in like 10 minutes. I could probably ask a cast member if they could grab one from their stock. Yeah, I'm sure it's not just gonna go away. I just I don't even know if I have time to buy it. Actually, I think I do. Yeah, thanks for staying with me, guys. We're gonna have a premiere in just uh, nine minutes. Yeah, it looks fine. I mean, I can wash it when I get home. The woman after you, Josh, was flipping through with the soaked poncho sleeve and brought out your large. Oh. Okay. Interesting. You guys saw that on the stream? All right. I'm just going to go ahead and get it. It's like, it's silly. I can wash it. All right. Here we go. Mobile checkout. I have eight minutes to do this. I do have to put my umbrella away, though, because I cannot do this with, with one hand. Yeah, it's just it's just rain from somebody's poncho or something. That's all it is. I'm about to get more on it because I just touched my umbrella to it, so it's fine. Did you guys see did you guys see that on the video? Did is, did she really bring out the large that I was that I was asking for and I just literally didn't see it? Alright, well it still has a tag on it, so it should be fine. Didn't have any cheese on it or anything. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't have to. I don't have to BRB. I got this. Here we go. Now I got it. Uh, okay. Merchandise mobile checkout. Creation shop. Scan an item. Boom, boom, boom. Got it. That works surprisingly well. Wow, 20% discount, it's only $23. I like it. Check out. It's not stained. It's just water. If it is stained, I'll bring it back. Okay, here we go. Sometimes they don't make enough of these shirts, so we're getting it. Okay, now all I have to do is go through the checkout. Mobile checkout, there we go. All right, we have seven minutes till the premiere. Stay, stay tuned. Seven minutes. Thank you. Of course, absolutely. It was a little wet on the rack, but I think somebody just brushed it on their ponchos. I don't think it's actually like stained or anything. It's the only large, so I was like, yeah, I gotta have I it. So say it's just I think it's just water. Yeah. I guess if it's not, I can bring it back. But of yeah. Course, yeah. And it's got the tag on it, so I, I don't think anybody's had it out. So yeah, you guys wouldn't hang it back up if it'd been used, right? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. But I mean, it's got a tag still on it. Surely nobody wore it with a tag yeah. on it. Yeah. So. I mean, I think it's fine. I think it's just partially water. Yeah. That happens around this time. Yep. I think you're right. Um, but yeah, would you like a bag for that? Um, yes, please. That way it doesn't get messed up in my bag. Yeah, there's just, it'll just be right there. 
the live stream, so I, like, I can't. The mobile checkout's nice because I don't have to worry about somebody seeing my card when I'm trying to pay. Thank you. Ooh, it smelled like uh, ammonia over there. All right, we are good. I got my Epcot shirt. Yay. Happy, happy. Five minutes away, premiere guys. Okay, so I gotta get I gotta get going here. We're gonna head over to Retro TV One Tech. We're gonna please come watch a nine minute video with me. I'm hoping I kind of I'm kind of hoping it goes viral on that channel because it's just kind of a it's a quick video. Anybody can watch it anytime, and it's just like something that anybody might be interested in. You know what I mean? It's like how long does it, how long does this battery last? You know, and it's you can see it's nine minutes, so it's not gonna like take up a lot of your time. So. All right. Thanks, guys. I'm going to go out in front of Spaceship Earth and say good night. And I'll see you guys on Sunday. And again, just to reiterate a bunch of times, I'm not going to be on Sundays uh, often, just when I have a conflict on Saturday. And this time, my friend is in town. And we really need to... I can't skip that many streams, you know what I mean? Like, I can't skip a Friday and a Saturday and not do anything on a Sunday or anything. I've got to keep going. So, the battery lasted nine minutes. It's longer than that. I chopped it up so you wouldn't have to sit, sit through it. Make it into a short. That's a good idea. All right, Noel, have a good night. We have four minutes. Guys, check, go check out all of our awesome sponsors. Links are in the description. Go check out all the uh, awesome channels. We got Resort TV One Homes. If you want to buy a house here in Central Florida, we got our YouTube channel, Resort TV One Homes. We've got Jenna and Dale's channel, Adventures of Jenna and Dale. And we've also got um, here. Hold on, we're probably we're gonna get wind noise. And we've also got um, Retro TV One Tech, which is my new channel. So go check it out, guys. All the fun, all the things, all the time. You don't want to miss it. I really appreciate all of you for being here. We'll just end it right here. We've never done that before. Or not for a while. Yeah, let me just end it right here. All right, that way we won't be late coming into the, coming into the premiere since it's so short. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you on Sunday, everybody. I don't know where I'll be. Uh, we'll have to see. Maybe magic, maybe not. I don't know. But stay tuned, everybody, uh, for the premiere on Retro TV One Tech. We'll see you over there. But uh, thanks for watching tonight. It's been super fun. Really appreciate all of you. And uh, thanks to Moppers for keeping the stream family friendly. As always, Moppers are the best. We appreciate and love all you guys. And thanks, Hoppers, for making the community so amazing. It's you guys that do it, and we appreciate all of you. Thanks to everybody that sent a super chat. PayPal, Patreons. Thanks to all the Patreon members. Thanks to everybody. We appreciate you all. Thanks to everybody that just watches day in. And day out, we appreciate you so much. Uh, let's see. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Great. All right. We'll see you in just a minute, guys, over on Retro TV One Tech. Again, even if you don't like tech, come watch this because it's interesting and it's only nine minutes. All right, everybody. So for now, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.